Hello, you beautiful people. And a couple of you funny looking ones. By golly. I am Charles Deering. And uh, we're going to start another project. I thought I was going to do that cowboy with a rope, but I just wasn't feeling that one, you know? So we're going to do Marshall Dillon from Gunsmoke, James Arness. And so there's that. Uh, I'm using number five flat ended spirals by Flying Dutchman. I buy them from the wooden teddy bear. And so can you. For 15% off, if you uh, get less than a gross, well, less than 12 dozen, uh, just put my name, Charles, in the gift card or discount box. That's the same box. <laughs> and as for less than a gross, for a gross or more, put my name, Charles, in the notes portion of the transaction. And you can use that discount code as all well as you like. And also sponsored by Harneal Media. That would be Steve Nealon and Shaley Morehouse. Uh, good, good folks. Uh, you're going to get very affordable website, good communication, long work hours, and uh, just overall good darn work. Uh, golly. Uh, Herb was testing out his icons, I guess, or emojis, whatever you call them. But uh, thank you for being Herb, or as I like to call him, Captain Chaos. I'm Captain Cartwheel. I just gave my name that, I gave myself that name today. But anyway. Use number five, blend into spirals. One piece of maple, quarter inch maple fly, 22 inch Hegner. And hello, Art and Jason Rickoloff. All right, let me get the stuff out of my way and we'll get to scrolling. I know I'm going to ruin my bad reputation of scrolling too quick. And probably a shock to nobody. I am starting with the eyes. Hello, Robin. All right, let's do it. Charlotte boys himself, Mr. Herb Hooper's here. Hello, sir. All righty then. Good to see you. <laughs> or hear you. The way uh, I have StreamYard set up right now, for those that don't know, if your camera's not on, it'll just have your voice in the background. I guess that kind of works because some people don't like to tell the back. Not today, anyway. You're not as pretty as you were yesterday? No, I'm all sweaty. What'd you go and do that? Oh, is your AC still out? Yeah. Because it's hotter than two rats in a wool sock in the middle of boxing. All right. I've never had to deal with that, but that sounds pretty hot. <laughs> Thank you Hello, for being here. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Nancy. Hopefully by tomorrow I can have it fixed. Nice. Hello, Larry. Okay. Herb's in the zone. I can tell from the emoji. Oh. Now, that was a used blade, of, blade in the way it broke, just so you know. Hello, Larry. Yep, I'm in the zone today. Yeah, good, good problem to have. That's probably the quickest I've ever broken a blade. I could be wrong. We've done a few oh, of these well, oh, oh, wait a minute. I forgot the most important thing. Oh, Lord. Drink! <laughs> You're welcome. You see my Facebook post? Uh, I guess not. What is your Facebook post? My friend, I put her in a coffee cup. I said, you never tell where your friend's going to pop up at. Oh, I saw that one. It said hello, you had Mimi. It said you hello, Mimi. It said you had three comments, but I only saw yours. So I guess I have the other two people blocked. Uh, probably Tina's. 
Oh, yeah, back when she was talking smack to you, I blocked her. Long time ago. Before we were so rudely interrupted by a blade wreckage. Hello, Robin. Robin. Miss Indecisive. She's more confusing than a barrel of monkeys. <laughs> Now this one, as far as amount of cuts, is relatively simple. I didn't count the cuts. But the 3, other one. 3,256. Did you cut that one? Not yet. Uh, Rose Beard is the one that told me how many cuts it had. I think two or three people have cut that one. We're referring to the leopard on the log. Yep. And I'm going slow because I don't want to screw up the shape of his eye. Jason says, you have 11 people watching. Well, if you got any comments or questions or inquiries, please refer them to Jason Richardson. And or we appreciate you. <laughs> or us. Hey, Jason, before you ask, LOL, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> her blood. Nah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and again, I don't know what's public and what's not, but y'all keep your thoughts with uh, Teresa and Russ. Having a little bit of a tough time right now. Yep. Not in their marriage. I will reveal that much. Okay. Uh, Art says I may just have to try that one. Larry's saying hit that thumbs up button. I get. I don't know if this one's on the website yet. I had a wider version of it, but I narrowed it down, and here we are. The wider Interest. version, it goes further that way. Go ahead. People are out there just saying hi, diddly do. All righty then. They sure talk funny, don't they? Yes, I do. Arthur says no, the leopard on the log. Oh, yeah, well. I have that one in my list, but I'm, I, I haven't quite gotten brave enough yet. Although after doing that elk, yeah, that was not much worse. Oh, Sometimes I don't want to spend that long. How long is it going to take him to do it? 30 months. The world may never know. <laughs> Arthur says beginners always do it. Uh, no, they don't. Larry says he's getting a new scroll saw for his birthday. Yay. What well, nine? Mine's getting twelve, so you'll be saving your pennies. Uh let's see. Want, everybody wanna know when his birthday is? Doug Old Barn Production again. Hello, Doug. Hello, Mr. Doug. <coughs> Holly wants to craft a Jerry Brown to Wasabi. Wasabi. Hello, uh, uh, Jerry. He says he's getting a 21 inch wind. I've heard complaints about their clamping system, but I could be wrong, but I have good luck with it. Yeah, check the reviews before you committed, Larry. 
Yeah. When I go to do that other eye, that's going to be a really big cut because it incorporates most of the left half, if not all of it. And Jerry Brown says, hey, all. Steve Neeland's in. Hello, Hello. Steve. Hello, Mr. Neeland. Cornell Media says, and Larry Winstall sucks. Yeah, I kind of figured he was going to say that. I didn't. I don't know what's private among people and what's not, but yeah, Steve Nealon has one. Uh, Sorry if that deflated you, Larry, but I'm just being honest. Larry said it ain't till the end of July. I need to drink a coffee, but I'm afraid to grab that cup. There ain't no telling who's in it now. <laughs> you have a third cat, or or is that one of your other, one of your existing cats? That's the little girl that Pam rescued. Okay, you said you had a new supervisor, so I thought maybe you got a new cat. Well, she's been laying up on the desk the last two days, so she took the other supervisor's well. spot. Nancy says, working on a pattern for my miniature roll top desk, found a tutorial on how to build it, <clears throat> but you don't have the dimensions. You know, one thing <clears throat> I still would have lost, but one thing that would have made that, that scroll off go slower is if there's a lot of straight lines in it. That's the hardest thing that I got to thinking about that when I thought about the inner border of this. There's a lot of straight straight lines. But I saved Steve Neal in the trouble and Jerry by saying I still would have lost. But I don't know that I would have, but shoulda, woulda, coulda, I lost. Fine. Okay, Jerry says, so aside from some people here, does anyone remember gun smoke? Actually, I had an app on the cell that was listening to old radio episodes, but barely saw the replay on TV. Hello, Hello. Shay. Hello, Shaley, Midnight Stroller. Uh, uh, Jerry, what's the name of that app, and is it free? Yes, sir. I remember when they had Chester on there. I remember my dad watching Gunsmoke. My cousin watched Gunsmoke so much. His first son was born. He named him Marshall Dillon. Good Lord. I think he got into some LSD or something. <laughs> I watched the movie yesterday, and uh, it was the most horrid <laughs> acting. The most horrid acting. I mean, Jerry said it sure was free. I don't pay for phone app. <laughs> I don't either. Uh, it was the Stephen King thinner. I mean, clearly it wasn't made yesterday, but I watched that. And it's like God, the acting was horrific. Sort of like some of the uh, characters on this show. Well, I ain't going to say that. I need y'all to come back. <laughs> but I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Larry said, Gunsmoke, Brandon, and the big, uh, Virginia and Big Valley. My dad watched, I think it was called Wild Wild West. It's, uh, I don't remember what the heck it was called. Wild Wild West, Robert Con uh, Conrad. I guess. He watched a lot of the old old stuff. Wanted dead or alive with Steve McQueen. But, uh, but 
watched a lot of black and white stuff too. Huh. Yeah, when Pam's home, there's a lot of watching black and white the TV shows. Some of them are good, but not a lot of them. Are, the, the standards of acting weren't very stringent back then, in my opinion. And loses in the how the West was won. Yeah. This one shouldn't take too terribly long, although the outside, the inside perimeter, I gotta be careful on the straight lines. I say shouldn't, but I'm not gonna promise it. <laughs> by the way, this piece is almost exactly 18 by 24, but not quite, because that would have been too uh, convenient. And Mimi's asking, how much for this pattern? I have no idea. What? I'm not even sure if this pattern's on woodenvisions.com right now, but I, I, will, I will get it up on there. If you look up uh, Gunsmoke, you should see about three patterns, but I don't know if this is one of them yet. I also have one of uh, Marshall, Dillon, and Festus together that I need to get up on the website. Jerry says his private stash patterns. Uh, and he says there's a lady that I work with loves that show. Very said, like I didn't know there were two how the West was won. One was James Stewart and the other was James Arnett. Well maybe rather than rather than cutting one, just have her by mine. <laughs> I'm a little biased, just kidding. Steve says, there are five gun smoke patterns on the site, I think. Yeah, every now and then I'll come across an old pattern, and I don't know how I didn't get it put on the site. Because, you know, my disorganized, oh, yeah. disorganized self from earlier, I, uh, I wasn't very good at putting everything where it needed to be to find it quickly, so I still come across old patterns. Steve, and put the link up. Thank you, sir. Uh, the original of this one is wider than I have it drawn. I, I thought it needed to be narrower. And I'm not on the watch page, so I can't click and look. It's okay, Mimi. I was just giving you a hack. The app was called Old Time Radio and Shows. I sent you a picture of what it looks like when loaded. Thank you, Jerry. Sorry for stealing your job there, Russ. I mean, her. God bless America. Well, okay. I do I'll, I'll go. <laughs> Bye, I, do, I do it to Russ a lot, so that's why I called you Russ. <laughs> I can see where I'm appreciated. I did I did it to John even on the troll off. I know called him Russ three times. Well, I don't I meant reading comments because if I saw it and it hadn't been read, I read it, but some of them he wasn't sure if he was supposed to read. Uh, 
Billy Burt from the Message Studios in. Hello, Billy. Hello, Billy. And he, he spelled it that way on purpose. That's the way he talked. Hello, everybody. Mimi says, I wish I could get it for her, probably or out of my price range, but you do great work. Thanks, man. Dave Helmonson's in. Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. Good to see you, sir. Everybody saying hi diddly do to each other. Oh, righty then. And then in the other corner, we're going up and down, up and down, up, 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 up. And the fall comes to a stop. It sounded funnier in my head. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what the heck you were talking about. Maybe you were watching something else. No. I'm just sitting here staring out the window watching the cars go by. Sounds exciting. Could be singing. Yep. In my room. For what it's worth, your fan is ever so slightly in your mic. Well, that's why I'm afraid I'm going to come in here. It's all good. It's all good. It's tolerable. We need you to sweat for the people. Just kidding. Oh, thank you. <laughs> if we ever do another group roll off vote, we definitely need to limit it to one one vote. <laughs> your one vote is your final vote. <laughs> Now we're coming. I'm changing my vote too. <laughs> to take me out of the vote. I'm sorry, Jerry. I only gave about 30 minutes notice, so that's part of it. Oh, I finally got big duck peppers again. Finally find the big bottles. Yeah, or my wife did. We got 16 people watching. Appreciate y'all taking the time out. If you got any comments or questions or inquiries, please leave them in the chat. We'll answer them to the best of our ability. If not, we'll get Jason Rishiloff to find the answer for you. And he appreciates you very much. And over to you, Jason, with the weather. <laughs> At least in uh, Canada or Alberta or Calgary. I don't remember. Oh no, I'm in the zone. Yep. Right turn, Clyde. <laughs> hey, Jerry says size does matter on the scroll solving. What size are you going to do the scroll off? I have no, no clue. And midnight or a rock star. The rest of the bus are five to, five to eight is a killer. I'm not in charge of what gets picked for the scroll off. They're picking the detailed ones. I don't know what's wrong with them, but uh, 
Uh, I think uh, just, but, but I'll get it out here in a minute. In a minute. In a minute. <laughs> Dave says, I think there is no hurry. And scrolling, kill, and enjoy the cut. Great, great. job, well, Yeah, Herbie. unless it's a scroll off. <laughs> He's going to be scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. These people are going crazy. Scroll on. Yep. Head them up, move them out. Find a smaller piece, not old billboards. <laughs> <laughs> That's sacrilege right there, mister. I'm a man that toots my own horn. <laughs> We're supposed to believe that that's flatulence, but it's just an air can. You want a bed? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. At least what we heard on Mike. Yeah, I was there again. I had to get the supervisor off my desk. I figured. She's being a needy little person. <clears throat> JJE is in the house. Hello, Hello JJ. That's how you do it, Herb. You jump on them the second they come in. <laughs> well, I'm always multitasking. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I haven't had, got any work done here lately. I'm too busy multitasking or, or in the zone. And I can't get nothing done when I'm in the zone. It's your entertaining, man. One more stuff. It's your entertaining, though, even though you said it in Spanish. I fell for it again. <laughs> Well, actually, the Spanish word for what is eh? Q U E. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, I'm scrolling slow because I want to keep the shapes accurate. Oh, I better not. Alright, oh, he got in slow motion. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's me or not, but I think it's more fun when I'm here when I'm not. Me too, but you, I can't force you to be here. Like I did right before you came in. <laughs> Or right before I started the show. You got the least give me an hour notice. Hell, I don't even give myself an hour notice. Because I might not be addressed appropriately. I'm going to remind you every time I go live. Remember, you said it was more fun. And I found out that Herb is the one putting those bots in there. Just kidding, Herb. See? <laughs> no, I created a tennis monster. What are you talking about, Willis? Dad, no, 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 no. That's her trying to stop himself, but he'll do it anyway. No, 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 no. I'm going to bite my tongue. Oh, wait a minute. I got to get my teeth out of the jar first. Come on, that's funny. <laughs> you sound like me. It 
was funny, but I've used that one, so it didn't strike me as funny. Let's put this to a vote. Who would all like to see me on the panel all the time? Say no. You'd be braver than I am if I asked that. Uh, nobody would answer. <laughs> if y'all want to see Herb on the panel all the time, send me $10. I'm just kidding. Just, uh, he wants to know if y'all want to see him all the time. I do. Or at least hear him. I don't know that I'm not going live. Art says, sure. I take it that's a no. <laughs> <coughs> Hello, Mike. And with Art Barks. Herb's right on top of it today. He's going to earn that paycheck eventually. Well, we got one vote of sure, and that wasn't an enthusiastic heck yes. Does my vote count? Well, we have to change it. change the name. Welcome to Herb and Charles Pauline Hours. Captain Chaos and Captain Cartwheel. And John is Captain Mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur says that's my way of saying it. yes all right then. well that's one vote so you're in and 37 no's hey <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. I need to read that again. 15 no. Dave says, Dave says, thumbs up for Herbie. I wouldn't mind one too, just saying. Dave, you trying to get on Herb's side? Good side? Oh, wait. That was him answering your question, I think. Sorry, Dave. Yeah, uh, Mike says, was Gunsmoke the longest running TV series? I have no idea. Uh, Mash, I think Mash was, but I could be wrong. Yeah, Mash was. But for Western, it was. What ruined Mash for me was Alan Alda. I got so sick of the one-liners. He wasn't as funny as he thought he was. I know the writers did it, but still. Well, he was one of the writers. Yeah. I, he was just too corny for me. Oh, no. It's a plane. <laughs> it's a bird. It, no, it, it's Lucy in the sky with diamonds. I thought you were going to say Captain Chaos, but okay. No. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Look, it's Charles Captain Cartwheel. I am not going to announce whenever I'm going to do that cartwheel. Because <laughs> Matt Dillon was younger in the old black and white series. And old in the later series it made him me made me made me, made me, made me wonder. Well that's how life works. The younger you are when you start, the younger you're gonna be. And then older later. Oh you were reading a comment. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. Holy moly! the 
and tonight's dinner menu is brought to you by Captain Crunch. <laughs> Herb's definitely in the zone. Uh, did everybody just say how diddly do diddly, diddly do? No, righty then. And I'm over here in my room. I'm over here in my corner office broadcasting from the Cedo Central. Okay, it's time for me to be quiet. No. You might be the only reason anybody's there. At least 16 of them. Hope you all can go ahead. I was just going to say where my comments go. I uh, hope y'all consider a thumbs up out there. That'd make me feel right nice. Says you got 16 watching, 11 up. Nice. Look at the folks. It might be for your benefit, but I don't know how to transfer them to you, Herb, so I'm going to take them to you, okay? <laughs> I'll handle that. All right. I'll take the views too. <clears throat> hey, I found it. Yay. Because if you could hear that woman in the background, you show sure would be getting hung. I get done with this eyebrow, we're going to have one huge cut. Is that Probably a unibrow? Cut of, uh, nope. <laughs> oh, no. It's a plane. Jason says, a 15 are watching, and everybody's still saying, how did you do? I'm sure glad he tells us how many are watching, because I can't ever see that. Marshall Charles, Marshall <laughs> Charles, Miss Teddy's looking for you. She's trying to round you. up a posse. <laughs> Okay, since we're on the gun smoke deal, who I I, played the doc? I have no in idea. Gunsmoke? But I have a pattern of him on my website. I don't remember his name though. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you, it's Milford Stone. All right, I think Doc Festus and. 
Mercer Miller are the only characters I have related well, to good. I'll Miss Kitty. Right. Get on it. While well, you're reading comments, of course. Mark says, You want to do that in English, yeah. mister? Oh, nobody said English. <laughs> <laughs> that was not in the brochure. I just Googled it. Gunsmoke ran from 1955 to 1975, making it the longest running Western series. Top rated show from a DVD of 57 to 61. 20 series. Who played Newley? No idea. I don't even know who Newley is. Worth. He lives here in Fort Worth, and Pam sees him twice a week. At least. His name is Buck Taylor. I'm gathering that Billy's not a fan of the heat either. He's also in Texas. I did. Uh, 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 uh. Billy says somebody must have fired the Texas AC man because it's ridiculous. Uh, Billy, you got to be over here at my house. The air conditioner went out yesterday. I think he's referring to the blade chucks that just worded it like he was talking about blades. Uh, Larry, uh, Steve, yeah, you know what I mean. Fred, Ethel, Lucy. How can you forget his name? Who? Cornell Media. I didn't forget his name. I, I meant to say his name, but I said Larry. I didn't forget his name. Sometimes I'd like to, but most of the time I'm good. <laughs> Folks, I think it's time for me to go. Full stank. Now this piece is going to pop when I get this big section cut out. Well, I say pop. It, it's going to show up a lot better. Which is usually the case. I mean, it's not going to go... <laughs> no, it better not. <laughs> it's going to go... Ah! Really? <laughs> I'm surrounded by them, folks. Let me get that recording of uh, Batman. Okay, Queen Scare the Fazizzle. Somebody stole my mouth. Not me. You do have cats there, it's the same. Oh, hold on, I gotta answer this. All right. And Larry Shaley is saying Pegasus doesn't carry holders for the win. They do for Delta. Something wrong with my computer. I'm sorry. I tried the Pegasus plants. They didn't do a thing for me. Oh, I forgot to put a space in there. Oh, my Lord. What am I going to do? No telling, sir. The punctuation police are going to come get me and take me away. They're coming to take me away. <laughs> <laughs> this haircut's going to take a long time. Mostly because I'm going to take a drink first. <laughs> <laughs> You might want to get a trash bag and put over that piece. Excuse me? 
What you talking about, Cletus? I don't. Yeah! Mister. <clears throat> uh, Steve and Larry are uh, talking amongst themselves. Yes. I don't know where he could go. I think that medicine is making me look too. Well, look, it's not a bad thing. Hang on, Luffy. Herbie, <laughs> hang on. I got to mute myself for a second. The comment was not kid friendly. Okay. Uh, good, good. Uh, Larry says, Meet Park says, Can you find them, Chase? But I love my Delta. And if when is anything growlable, yeah, I wouldn't touch it. I have a slight bow in this face, by the way. We'll put an arrow in it. Okay. Shoot it. Herb definitely in the zone. <laughs> they gonna come get me, that's all. Margaret! Out here at the jail, come get me! <laughs> oh, Lord. I sure need to drink a coffee. But I'm afraid to look in that coffee cup. I like working from high contrast photos like the source of this one. <laughs> If you can get away with somewhat of a simple pattern just by shadows. I mean, it can be considered brittle for some people. Go ahead. What are you going to say, Herb? I don't know. I'm trying to think of it. Oh, sometimes it's kind of hard to find good quality images. Yeah. Very much so. They want to be anything below 300, 300 pixels is uh, ain't worth a flip. Yeah, yeah, I always look for large photos. If you go to Google Images, this is, you know, if you can run into copyright crap, but you just go to Tools and then Size and then click on Large or go to all those. Most of those copyright free sources have large photos. Well, they get, most of them give you the option if you want them small, medium, or large. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I always go with the biggest one now.
I've been working on a pattern, but it's taking me a while and I get frustrated. I was working on a barrel racer, but I put it to the side because I was getting burned out on it. I was trying to think what, what all portraits have I done. The only thing I think was Chuck Connor. Can't imagine what inspired that one. <coughs> we haven't seen him in a while, have we? Uh -uh. Awesome, man. Maybe we'll run them off. Nah, I don't think so. Split second, I forgot which side was the waist side, so I had to look at it first. Oh no! The uh, drink, twang, and everybody out here saying hi, diddly do, diddly, diddly do. Tomorrow, Tuesday. Oh, uh, I think so. I know Shay knows what tomorrow is. But I'm respecting privacy. Billy says apparently the Delta Scroll Falls is more popular than the DeWalt 788. Yeah. And Doug says. There you are. Does that answer the question he asked earlier? Really? Why can't I see Billy? Because you got your eyes closed. Jason's giving you a head count again. Oh, thank you. See, Jason, if you had a camera and a mic, you could be on here telling everybody. That, that could be entertaining. Doug says he keeps posting, but nothing coming through. That means Doug broke the internet. Mm-hmm. Billy says Home Depot is selling the 788 for 375 ship. That's not bad at all. That should be a birthday present. Uh, Doug. Larry. Oh. Well, Doug, too, but. Now, it's not as good as it used to be, but it's better than a win. That question of mine is better than a win, I think. And Billy says, and up. Uh, uh, the Deltas are going for a 750 and up. Good lordy. And the weather report from Calvary, Alberta, Canada. 17 Celsius, rain and sun. And light snow flurries in the a early a.m. And the deer and the antelope play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I figured if I called Smith Chaos, she wouldn't let me come back. Pretty hard not to come back. 
Well, I say that, but uh, we've had people that won't come back. <laughs> Billy. Buddy, Get come back. Buddy, come back. Come back. JJ, he says, I have a 788, and it's and satisfied with it. Oh, they about eating popcorn. You can get the kernels tucked in your throat. Arthur says, me, I have two of them. I'll say it again, I'm going slow because you want every feature to look like him, so I'm sticking to the pattern. Don't let him kid you, folks. He's on Thorazine again. I don't even know what Thorazine is. It makes you talk and act real slow. They give him to them crazy people in the hospital to chill them out. Holy something I need to take out about and then and then and then and now. <laughs> Man, can you believe that there's ten thousand comedians out of a job and I'm trying to act like one at the pool. Well, somebody pay for it. <laughs> yeah, you're pimp. I ain't you ever going back over there. There was a nut over there. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm often accused of being the nut. I look, you're on fail. You didn't need to. Hi, welcome to the Charles and Herd Comedy Hour. And karaoke now and then. In my room. I didn't say it was good karaoke. I seen fire, I seen rain. I seen someday Charles is going to fail again. He's leaning on his profile blade. I'm going to turn the piece because I want to get this curve right because it's the shape of his jaw. Right turning or left turning? So you got that jet plane song stuck in my head? Thank me very much. Well, I actually like the song, so I'm okay with that. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, sir. Larry says, well, did DeWalt fit the Delta stand? Probably, if not, just put a board on top of the stand and attach it to the board. Boom, bitchy. <laughs> it always sounds funny when somebody says something I say. <laughs> Seriously, that's... Well, he says, if you don't, you can make it fit, Larry. Yep. And I'm turning the piece again because we have a straight line cut. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Y'all watch coffee, folks. That piece going to jump right out of the box. Be nice, mister. I didn't need that. I didn't need that. I didn't do it. I'm innocent. Mm -hmm. Doug says, I have a Harbor Freight. It's the biggest piece of scrap I have ever used. Often referred to as a boat anchor. 
And I went off the dang line because I something got caught. Dad blab it. Now I have to fix that on the uh, other side of the cut. Oh, that's what you call a sudden pattern change. Yeah. Is that his hat? Uh, no. You're not really paying attention, are you, buddy? No, I'm not because I told you. That's at the other end, sir. And besides, I couldn't even tell you what it is, isn't it? I didn't get a good look at it. It'll pop here as soon as I'm done with this cut. Well, why don't you go over and look at the thumbnail, Sparky? It only shows half the design, though. Cream pie. That ain't what I'm looking for. I like to, I like to do, uh, what you call it, straight lines this direction so I'm going to go back to where I started the cut and come back around to that and Doug's saying he didn't LOL that long by the way and Larry says that uses about anchor. Billy says Home Depot just went up a hundred dollars on the 788. Well, poof. Well, you know me, I always got to put my little twist on it. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it correct. Why Doug says L O L. <laughs> yeah. You might have yelled it though, because it's in all caps. Don't yell. <laughs> Somebody send Herb some meds, please. I'll take Herb to the Don't say that. I gotta remember what size it placed again. There we go. Oh no, I just got a paper cut. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm hard broke for you. Oh no! Oh no! You need to take my toys and leave. Oh, thank you. I'll play with your own LOL. We have a contract here, mister. Contract got broke long time. <laughs> You have uh, 20 more years on your contract, sorry to tell you. Well, I haven't had my pay envelope yet, so contract nil invoice. <laughs> well, you keep getting in deductions. <laughs> Does it matter? Definitely the biggest cut by far on this page. <laughs> the 788, he owned $100 up went just to depot home. What? <laughs> the 788, he owned $100 up went just depot home. I think only Yoda can understand you. And that's not even guaranteed. I read Billy's comment backwards. No, you said Z first, and that's 788 is the last word or number. 788, the on $100 up went just depot home. Studio Messi, Z, Bert Billy. That's large. Inch 21, that's caliber. The about what? says Larry. 
I got nothing. I, I, <laughs> got what about that caliber 21 in? That's a good one. I've dealt with a lot of things on my panel, but never a backward comment reader. Don't know what Captain Chaos is going to call us next. No, sir. Turn into the same comedy channel. Arthur says, hit, get you. Where? VPN, Larry. Now, what if somebody's trying to learn from the chat? <laughs> they're going to think they're having a stroke. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> Larry, depends on what you get it. KO. <laughs> What's Mr. Combs doing lately? He hasn't been around much. He's up up straight at the neighbors. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, where did I leave off that tail? Okay. Yeah. Blades. <laughs> the that longer or clamp back mine sin to Herb, head I Herb, I'd like to make a request. <clears throat> tools of Tyler at looking was I. Uh, Larry said I had to send my back clamp for longer than the blade. Mary says I was looking at Tyler Tool. Chase is crazy. So now double my good Lord my. Jesus. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you hurt my brain. <laughs> That's a first. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well I'm seeing it all backwards. That's the reason why I'm reading it. Well get a mirror and read them normal. <laughs> I'm telling you folks, you just never that job. what kind of comedy you gonna have over here. Yeah. Are you ever gonna actually read or actual comment? Or <laughs> <Is that going? laughs> <laughs> the Delta is worth more than when I bought mine. My double now so crazy. Let's go Brandon. So then Nancy says, by the, by the time I'm able to get a scroll call, it will be out of my budget. Larry says, it's almost tripled the price since I got mine. But this looking through a mirror backwards is killing me. Reading it backwards is killing me. <laughs> but it sounds more fun backwards. For you. <laughs> Let me roll the tape back a little bit. <coughs> Doug, you want to get on the panel and help me out? <laughs> they are all out of my budget, says Doug. Okay, I'll behave. You don't have to fully behave, just comment behave. No. Fine. I can drink. Billy says, me too, Chase. Larry says, I got mine with the stand for four ninety nine ninety nine
Ih, peladão não. Hã? Ah. <risos> I just kind of hurt your brain a little. I don't take much. Billy says I gave 200 for it still in the plastic. And Larry never give up, sir. I, I, when I started, I had the worst troll saw Delta ever made. And uh, somehow was I that, stuck with it. Was that the one with the goofy wrench? Yeah, the double pronged wrench and the spring loaded clamp. Holy monkey. Larry said all you have to get the family to get the thing that hurts inside a lot. If Jay had given up, she wouldn't have won the, the uh, throw off the fast. I'm not sure what Larry's saying there. I he always have... you got to get family to get stuff for him. Oh. And he started with a crafty craftsman. They said, I never give up. I never give on anything. I think she means never gets up on anything, but yeah. Well, she gave up on being in love with me. Just kidding. That was all in my head. Yeah, we better get you some meds, son. Me? One of us. <laughs> That'd be you. <laughs> Jason Richelof says, say hi. Herb Luck, just saying. Arthur says, it loves the gold. You're Delta Arm C. And the huge advice. I better mute myself. I got up. I've been doing this cut so long, my left hand is trying to cramp up. That thing where it locks up like this, I hate that. I don't know what they call that, but it sucks. This, this face is going to look a lot more like Marshall Dillon when this cut is done. Uh, Shay says, uh, it was all in your head. Hi, Jason. I, I know. <laughs> and uh, everything is a throwaway tool nowadays, says Larry. She only said she loved me when I had to pay a dollar for the next comment, but she's slightly slower than Robin. In your dreams. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I need to last on those in my room. Okay, I'll shut up. Pushing into the waste area while I turn this to do the mojo thing going down this straight line. Yeah. Yeah. Dave's asking, is this whole pattern one cut? 
No, but th this is most definitely a very huge cut. So as far as the amount of cuts, there's not a whole lot. I'm really hoping I stay on this line. Not too shabby so far. That's one of my better long straight lines, though. Hey, hey, yeah, did, 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 uh, yeah, Steve, he went to one cut project after the scroll off. <laughs> well, she did say her smack talk would be after she won. So when you got to do this deal, you got to do what deal? What time? Will? Yeah. What time are you going to do it? I'm not giving any advance notice because it's going to be in and out done and edited out later. Just saying. No, because I'm sending the film crew to Gatesville. Even That's if I funny. had to come down there myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the camera back so that y'all can see how much it looks like Marshall Dillon as soon as I take this one cut out. I know Shay. Billy says this has to be the longest scroll saw cut in history. Y'all ready? Boom! Looks just like him. I'm just saying. That's how big the cut was. And you want to save that if, if you want to, if you're worried about brittle stuff. But I'm not, so I'm going to be cocky and throw it away. Now, that was scary. Or lengthy, whatever. Looks just like him. I'm saying. I happen to love this pattern, but I'm a little biased. But now it's going to be flimsy, and I knew that was going to happen, but I wanted it. I do start with the eyes, and that happened to just be a huge cut, just saying. That was a very long cut. <laughs> I mean, How feet. Do... Feet? Yeah. What you talking about, please? How many feet was that cut? I have no earthly clue. Your public Stretch. needs to know these things. Well, they uh, they can get the pattern and figure it out. I don't know. <laughs> just tape measure and measure. I've actually considered that in the past, Steve. But uh, in most cases, it would be kind of a negative, And I don't know how well it would look. Unless you save the perimeter of the board that you cut it out of. Hell, I don't know. This cut right here is going to take even longer. Oh my, but I'm here for the people. So am I. All I've been having popcorn today. What is this? Two bloody hot cooking here. She's just trying not to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the only way I can explain the emoji. Yeah. It's only out of respect for her that I'm not revealing what she's going through. Because it could be entertaining, but yeah, I, I know why she says that. That stuff tastes awful. Yeah. And the process afterwards ain't all that thrilling either, but it's bearable. And wrong, uh, never mind. All right, then. Yeah, I'll let good, you read good, it. No, good judgment. Good judgment. I'm trying to avoid those kind of uh, comments. Here today. Yeah.
See, I at least ought to get a Dr. Pepper for that one to know the motion. I'll mail you one. I can't guarantee it'll have Dr. Pepper in it. Man, I get shafted all these. I'm uh, sorry. That I couldn't guarantee it. I didn't mean it'll be empty. You can take my toys and leave. I love you. And I ain't coming back. <laughs> Billy says I can't take you anywhere, Billy. I went off the line a little bit on that nose, but I maintained the shape of the nose so it didn't alter it too much. Oh no! It's past somebody's feeding time. Got the way, Sophie. One pilot hole out in the middle of nowhere it takes a little longer for me to find it. Oh no, I'm fading fast. I'm sorry. pop a tiny bit more when I cut these teeth out. JJ says you change the nose now it looks like Peter Graves. Alright. I didn't change it that much. <laughs> Larry says stay safe and bless prayers everyone. Ah, you see you later Larry. Thanks for dropping by, sir. What in they brothers? I have no idea. <clears throat> Wasn't he the man from Mission Impossible? I have no idea. Ask them old people out in the chat. And Billy says, yes, Harvey. Yes, brother, yes. And everybody's saying bye to Larry. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Was that a Shakespeare line or some kind of poem? I don't remember. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Find me. 
<laughs> Thank you, Herb. <laughs> you, know you can count on me, my God. Uh huh. <laughs> You know, I could have put a Tiny Tim song stuck in your head. Well, no, that wouldn't stuck very long because I only know one line. <sighs> like my pants, them bucks and stuff. Coming up, we are at 54 minutes and 34 seconds of cutting. It's not terribly far off of uh, the live stream. Hi, right, Nancy. Thank you for dropping by, man. Oh, wait. She's telling Larry bye. Yeah, but Billy said later, Nancy. So that threw me off. All right, we're going to take a drink, and then we're going to cut the tubes, the lips, everything. Larry, uh, uh, Nancy <coughs> said, hey, JJ, I've been here since the beginning, just cutting some pieces for my miniature roll top desk. Yeah. And somebody's messing with me again. It's not me. Ain't this just an HR puffing stuff day? <laughs> <laughs> that might have been foul language and herb herb language. No, somebody just sent me a picture of puffing stuff. Not very often you uh that we finish a project on a single live stream. Start and finish. Just saying. Jerry says, uh, he is missing half a face. Jay says, you need to post your dog, Charles. Rub it in, Jay. I don't have a fancy frame on mine. <laughs> Y'all saw it. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, well, it's too far out of reach. Hi. Sorry for earning that measure that might have caused. Or. If, oh, this pattern, if this pattern isn't available at woodenvision.com, it will be shortly after the live stream. Jason, either I do I. Neither do I is what she meant. <laughs> send, Jerry, uh, send Jerry Brown to his room, please. <laughs> I didn't know anyone remembered who was scrolling again. And then I scroll. I promise you, I'll never, I'll never be allowed to forget. That's all right. I didn't get my butt kicked. I, I just lost. That's all. As the uh, famous words once were said, you better believe it's Sparky. Sorry, sidetracked this thing. Billy says, BRB needs to go. All right, then. Neil, I need to eat. Steve says, you're doing good, Shane. I haven't heard you scream 
gotten there yet. Uh, it's probably in quite the uh, vulnerable situation right now. Get your fault to boot. Where are these other fellas at? Somebody come help me. I know the Canadian is driving. You refer to him, uh, Captain Mayhem. Holy moly, I didn't realize it's 7 30. It's not at 7 31. Maybe in Gatesville, <laughs> but uh, military yeah. clock over here says 7 30. Okay. Now, Steve, I suspect it would be an entertaining live stream for us. Yes, Shay, I must agree. That drink... It's horrible. Shay, you mix it with rum. Shay, did you add anything to it? Says Arthur and JJ. Doug says it even works faster. Robin says, can you put something to flavor? Steve says, yeah. You are weird, Charles. Yes, Arthur sir, says, I, am. I use Coke. And I'm proud of that. If I was boring, I don't know if it, I don't know if people would come back if I was too boring. Um, oh Lord. Doug says, well, this project started today, and it looks like you're going to finish it today. Yes, sir, it is a rarity. And Shay says, I'm using crystal light. Now I'll help it. Jerry says, yeah, we do. I mean, you are boring. You are not boring. <laughs> If he had said you are boring, it wouldn't have surprised me because every now and then he does that call. Just a lot. That woman hasn't seen my text yet. What's wrong with her? Uh, I don't know. For the first time, y'all are going to get to see, I know you're excited, my, my, yeah. sing, my signature made of wood instead of cut into the wood, if that makes any sense. However, the letters are going to be wooden. They're not going to be, never mind, I can't think of the right word. But I cut them really pretty thin, so it'll probably break, and if it does, oh well. 
instead of the design change on the fly if it breaks? Well, it just won't have a signature. <laughs> I don't know about you, but one of us needs to get up and get something to drink. We'll get on it. I bet I can handle them comments <laughs> come rushing in while I hook them up constantly. I might be gone for a half hour. Oh, good. I should still be here. Yeah, originally when I designed this, it was probably about this much wider, but I thought it looked too wide. I mean, it, it's doable, but it was less of a normal rectangle, so I, I narrowed it. With all the expansion being on the left side, it was just more in the shadow. Really, only missing part of his hat and shoulder. piece is 24 and 3 8 tall and the capacity of the saw is 22 inches so the closer I get to the bottom the more I gotta turn the piece. Oh goodly. <clears throat> I want to stretch a teeny tiny bit. Almost at one hour of cutting. So 37 minutes of babbling and stretching and drinking. You're welcome. Oy. And again, I can do it sideways. Just saying. Now we will attempt to cut a straight line, a long straight line sideways. I gotta get my eyes dialed in.
when we get down to here, remember I went slightly narrow here. I could keep it the way it's designed on the outside. I just I may go slightly thicker. Just so you'll see me go off the line, that's why. I went off the line on that side. That's straight line up. Oh well. Now I have a pencil line I'm following now, not that dark line. And you want to break the blade every now and then so people don't think you're doing it perfectly. I, I love it when I break a blade on a straight line. Yeah, I got a little bit of wave in that line, but it's not the end of the world. before I get going again. That's one way to get the chat to talk by a golly. Looked like I went way off the line because of the dark line there, but I uh, my table table saw did not cut an a perfectly square cut, so I had to adjust it on the design. Funny when I look at a straight line straight on, I do worse at doing a straight line than I do at an angle or even sideways. That's just weird.
Did I tell you how hot it is in here? Well, you did in the past, and I kind of figured as much. Welcome back. Glad to be back. Almost got lost in the refrigerator. <laughs> That can happen, especially if it's uh, well stocked. My fridge tends to be a little bit desolate, but that's all right. I just want to sit in it. Well, that makes sense. Nancy saying who's being stingy with that thumbs up? Not me. I count 14, 15 watching. Well, we had 17 earlier, so there's a few people, but it's not a requirement. Not everybody likes the Charlie Minute. But I appreciate y'all's efforts. If I shook the crap out of this, it would break. <laughs> I learned my lesson on that bull rider a long time ago. Oh, look how strong it is. I shook it and I broke it. So I'm not going to do that anymore. I remember that day so well. You can still tell how bowed the piece was, but that bow goes away after a while when you've cut a whole bunch of wood out of it, just saying. Robin says one left. <clears throat> somebody, see if you push it, and I'm not upset with people for trying to get me thumbs up, but some people just to spite you, hearing all that's going to go give me a thumbs down, which is all right. I may already have one because it's kind of a regular occurrence. Oh, no, let me go over and make sure. All right. Appreciate you. I don't see any. It'll happen. <laughs> Lots of thumbs ups are appreciated. Hey, everything's down that side now. So unfortunately for y'all, things are going to be upside down for a bit. This is another area where I had to draw 20 different lines, and I got to remember which one I was working with. And I'm going to cut the waist area around the signature and still do the signature last. Well, let's go ahead and do this cut first. Okay. If I can find the pilot hole. I don't want things to go too smoothly or to be predictable. Actually, it's predictable that I'll have trouble with the pilot hole. Just saying. 
Googly Moogly. That was Shaley, I think. Yeah. Might kill your pilot home. Yeah, or they moved it. Oh. Got 18 people watching. I sure appreciate y'all taking the time out. Hey, okay, go to your room. Although I have an idea which room you're in right now. Just saying. You got to admit that was funny, though. Yep. They usually are. That doesn't take the thing away. <laughs> and really, the only reason I don't do that usually is because I don't want to use 20 different drill bits. For the cuts that are too small for the large drill bit, I just want to use one drill bit and get them all drilled. He says as he traces the piece for four or five hours. Yeah. That, no, that's not how long this one took. Just saying. So far, you got one hour, 47 minutes. 40, 47.35. Cool. Tom Tango Parker's in the house saying hi, everyone. Hello, Tom. Hello, Tom. usual single line cuts it's where the letters are made of wood which is what I do when there's negative space where the signature is going to go so in the design there's actually part of his collar right here but I I left that out to do the second the floor welcome back Billy welcome back sir Again, that when I draw out a signature, it's only a guide. Although I've drilled pilot holes, I'm I can still alter things if I feel the need. Well, speed, <laughs> speed, yeah, right. Coming after me. I'm sorry. They're gonna give you one of those hug yourself jackets. Mm-hmm. They keep you warm. I 
hope that tension felt a little loose. Is me. Robin want to know where her old went to. How the hell would I know? I'm sorry. I have I don't know. Robin Gagey said it went over yonder. She's in Canada. I don't know if she knows where yonder might be. I'll do three doors down. So we're on the corner of 33rd and Walla 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 Wing Bang. I'm crazy. Billy says I 
I don't know if you're having another stroke, but you never said what Billy said, but luckily I read it. Well, there's no message there. Yeah, really? Mine says mm -hmm. message retracted, so I can't read it. It says, mm, smoke leg quarter. Unless there's another one to be hit. No, shame on you, Billy. I had <coughs> in and out for lunch in Billy's honor. Billy said, don't do it, Herbie. Doug says, you guys are mean, and Herbie's going to read it. Read them. I'm not tortured by food talk. I'm, I'm hungry, but not to the point where I'm going to freak out because we're almost done. Might have been the verbal equivalent of what Shay's going through. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not really sorry. Just saying. <clears throat> really, kids, get just the last day to get over. I tried to find my wallet, I'd call out for food. Got a funny feeling it's in her purse again. Why would your wallet be in her purse? Keep me from spending her money. As she right. always says. My wife and I keep our money separately because of her ex-husband. Need to get my power of attorney back. It in ten years. So you're saying she can legally tell you what to do because of back when you had a stroke and stuff? Yep. Good lordy. She got control of all the money. Well, so does my wife, but that's she, only because she has money and I don't. She makes all the decisions. I only pay two bills. The internet and the trailer. I actually forgot a pilot hole. That's ridiculous. What? I know. Oy. Okay, uh, they didn't, 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 did uh, Tom said, it's 203 here in the UK. Uh, they said, I want you yucky leftovers, Billy. Billy said, calm down, Shay. You have to pass, Shay, says Doug. Robin says, uh, I'm not going to read it. You got half the yucky day. Well, that one is okay to read. It 
day, he says, I told KK we are driving straight to get a double bacon cheeseburger afterwards. Say, 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 please don't. That sounds so good right now. I did that. Three by ten. Evacuated. Afterwards? Yeah. Well, that's weird. That darn didn't agree with me afterwards, either. Don't the blame case. She has her money and we have my money, LOL. Yep. I carry all the money when I carry her purse. <laughs> I got a change jar. I'm saving up for a piece of gum. What is change? Huh? What is change? That's what most people tell me I should do, but I don't. Sorry, I was trying to be funny. I seen a quarter the other day and it looked so small. <laughs> Might have been a nickel. No, it has George's face on it. Oh. A nickel got Jefferson. <laughs> Let's take a drive. Let's see what weird Hello. sounds. Hey. See what weird sounds Herb can make. <clears throat> no, I won't do it. <laughs> oh, wait. Ding, 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 ding. It's a good thing I know how to tune you out every now and then. <laughs> I get a lot, a lot less Dr. Pepper. Bad for you. I'll live. Maybe not if you ain't got none. That's true. Oh, Ooh, I messed up this pattern. Stop doing that. Just too miserable. Why is those pieces falling out? No idea. Why is the sky blue? Science. Why are the trees multicolor? Is 
they have fried. Why am I sitting here torturing you? Because it's your mission in life. How many nickels are in the dollar? A whole bunch. I can't multi bank. <laughs> How many years is the uh, Queen Elizabeth in the, on the throne? 70. Here it all come out by now. I think 70. I've slept since I found out. Arthur says 20. Billy says 20. <laughs> yes, Tom, I, I, I designed my own. Oh, he's just uh, a Herbhooper.com. Yeah, Herb has some patterns on his, a little over 30. Herbhooper.com, mine is woodenvisions.com. Uh, sorry, I just had to do that. Since I didn't good, get but... my introduction when I got in here. You're right, you're right. No, you're allowed to do it anyway. I, I, I share the love. And today's special is, you buy one... You can get another one for the same price. Unless it's more expensive. Unless you're talking about your website. I'm talking about my website. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsies. That time I'd chunk you under the bus. Uh, Thank you, Tom. I tell you, I need some coffee. Now, I do it from pictures, Tom, but uh, I did used to be an artist. I just. Got bored with it when I discovered a scroll saw. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. It's relaxing. What oh, is? Making patterns. Yeah, and fun. But a tactic when you're over here, you're, you concentrate and draw on the line with the mouse, the cat comes up here and slides across the desk. <laughs> that and it's hard to draw a line with a mouse unless it's a straight line tool. Thank you, Shay. That almost okay. sounded like a compliment. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I found out if you take short movements, it's a lot easier. Lord. What did you jump for? I did. I make it obvious when I jump. I, I usually say something have Shay. <laughs> <laughs> Shay can't stay sweet too long. Just saying. Gonna ruin her bad reputation. I still beat him. Holy <laughs> moly. Hey, Team Shay. Team Shay. And that was when Herbie left. I don't know what the deal was. Shay <laughs> uh, says, Is that better, Charles? Not really. Shay said, Rook. When I switch over to that Seiko, I got to be really careful because I'm used to bearing down on this, uh, and you cannot bear down to clamp a, a uh, on a Seiko. It'll, it'll spread the clamp stuff, just saying. So that's one habit I got to get out of really quick. Let's see what kind of fun we're going to have with that one. They go, LOL, you did that one to yourself. I tend to do that. That Who's first that? was a compliment. I, I, I believe you. And I said thank you.
it keeps catching, I don't know why. How come there's nobody in my room? I don't know. You better run them all off. Well, you said Steve was down the street, John's driving, and, and you know, what, what Russ is going through. Yeah, and... Uh, and I'm doing a live stream. And Doug's probably wrestling Robin or something. And my other friend had an invitation. She ain't never showed up. Which other friend? Jay? No. No. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> the one I'm always giving a hard time to. Dana? Yeah. High school, I was so scared to death of that girl. Why? I'm telling you, she didn't she didn't take nothing off nobody. It wasn't a class you got, it was full fisted. And why the hell would you want to invite her to a hangout? Just kidding. Just kidding. Because we've been good friends. I said you're a wrestling Robin, Doug. I was just kidding. Her. <clears throat> I had one of them clicks. You got into an argument, and one of you had three of them to deal with. Yeah. That's why me and my brother was, because, you know, I love my brother. Even if he can carry his own, I'm going to want some behind. No, Doug, I didn't actually think you were wrestling with Robin. It was just a doubt. More like arguing with her. <laughs> but once you get older, you realize who your real friends are. Yeah, and art. I ought to call my brother from another mother. Hey, you want me to give me some food? I'm not here. You don't need to call me. All right, just pretending you like me. Trust me, he's a little close. Well, I know. We've been best friends since the uh, second grade. You need to do things, he's the one you can count on. Yep. He ain't real family. He is to me, though. Good thing to have. All oh, my good friends are on the internet. Well, I've met some of them. But, if, yeah, and what I mean is I'm not, like, hanging out with my next door neighbor kind of thing. And people don't come visit me unless I need something. That would be Jerry Brown. What? Well, because I'm always asking for his help or something. And I don't like being one of those kind of friends that only talks to somebody when I need something. But it always seems to work out that way. But I did give him a win air sucker. What? It's a, like the real fine dust collection. Oh. W -E N win. Two more cuts and then the second I tour.
Uh, that's normal, Charles. They only come to see you when they need stuff to say stuff. Yeah. Well, that's the kind of person I don't like to be, but I find myself doing that. I don't like it. It's mainly because I don't really just chat with people very often, so it's off. I don't know. I, I'm guilty. I know three females like that. I know Jerry knows I like and appreciate them. I just, uh, as far as hanging out, it, it's, it's on me. Not as mean as he comes out through the chat. <laughs> Neither is Steve Nealon. Sorry if I ruined Jill's bad reputation. Although I haven't met Steve Nealon in person. We might wrestle. met Billy, but my anxiety got the better of me. Robin says, not me. What? All I got left is my second tour. I don't take another 45 minutes. It might. And grab us a number three blade, and we're going to. Now it is a used blade, but I got to check the tension because it's a little bit different from a five. Just saying. Billy says, I don't come to tell you at all, Doug. I live too far, 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 far away. <laughs> and there is my sidekick. I'd like to meet Doug. And Billy. there's Mr. Cole. I'd like to meet Steve, too. Sorry for interrupting you, Herb. Hello, Steve. By the time you got back, awful yes, lonely, sir. just run by myself. Yeah, I'm not hearing nothing. But honestly, it's uh, getting close to his uh, cut-eye time. Yeah, well, that's good timing then. Doug says, Billy, see how you are? Let me read that. See how you are, Billy? I'll start and read that backwards again. That's always fun. Big T said, Body, everybody, hey! Billy says, I would if it was poetry, Doug, not because I want something. I'd just do it to come hang out. I'd do that with Jerry if I was not opposed to leaving the house. I honestly would, because I cherish friendship. Y'all know that. It's just too hard for me to get out. That's why I stay at home.
Once this person quits staring at me. I got to admit, Steve got me good the other day. That time somebody got you. Well, I wasn't expecting it, and I normally don't answer private phone calls. But I was in one of those moves, so I decided to answer it because the pharmacy called me three times. And uh, I get this, hey, want to buy a car warranty? <laughs> And you don't want to know what I said. I'm pretty sure it was colorful. Yeah, it wasn't. I hung up. And then I glance over at him, and he's in the background. He's laughing with his backside off. Then it dawned on me. It was, that, it was him. He didn't recognize his voice? No, it, it sounded like, it was like a Hispanic. Hey, man, you want to buy a car one thing? <laughs> I don't even know if he has my phone number. I think him and uh, Stace almost wet themselves. Well, he, uh, he, he's tech, texted me before, so I guess he does have my phone number. Billy, see, that's funny. Russell called me before to tell me to wake up and get the hangout. Yeah. We sit there and seen him. You know, I'll just call him wake you pack side up. It won't work because I turn my phone off when I'm sleeping. <laughs> I have no one to talk to all day. You got all them puppy dogs, Doug, to talk to all day long. The one with the heart on his hiney. This is kind of a sloppy signature, but it's a signature nonetheless. I think I need to tighten the tension, but I'm afraid if I do that, I'll break the blade. Get a little ahead of yourself, mister. Yeah, I'm, I'm chewing it. Definitely chewing it. The blade is kind of vibrating, but the tension's as tight as it'll go without breaking. Jim McCory, Mr. Daly, Mr. Daly, I'm a coming, I'm a coming. What? Oh, oh, okay. I just said, what the hell is he talking about? Coming. I'm a coming. I'm a Mr. Dalen. Mr. Dalen. That must be fastest. I didn't watch it that much. I was yes, a sir. kid. He's actually a good singer, I heard. Yes, he was. You can find it on YouTube. It was Dennis Weaver that was Chester, always calling him Mr. Dillon. Fest is always called Matthew, Matthew. He says, you could call me, Doug. I could work with you in my ear. Doug says, L. Oh, hell. Hell, he says he, he too, he called, could he? Herb, he was doing so well. <laughs> I got my mojo back. Good. A half a cup of sugar I put in that cup of coffee kicking in. <laughs> For money! Yay. But I did LOL backwards, you didn't say nothing. <laughs> Definitely 
nice floppy signature. Ah, it kind of looks like Cliff, did it? See, see, see. People will come, yeah? I can't look at the comments. I have no idea what the hell you're saying. <laughs> Steve says, yeah, some people. I'm telling you, you're never let me go get that cup of coffee. How was I going to stop you? That's a good question. Yep. Not my part of your signature. Well, I'll just say it. Hey, it's been nice seeing you all, good folks. We've been here two hours, 27 minutes, and 55 seconds. There's old Marshall Dillon. Marshall Dillon, Marshall Dillon. Actual cutting time was only one hour, 33 minutes. And it's slightly off of 18 by 24, but yeah, it is done. Hey. Yay. Thank you, Billy. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. What the hell? Sorry, my uh, computer has a mind of its own. So, yeah, we actually started and finished a project in a single live stream. That's. Steve C says, Chuck, job, awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Art. KJ says, good luck. Thank you, Doug Alicious. Yeah, so. Yeah, that proves I can actually finish it. I think it's very few times, other than the scroll off, obviously, that I finished in a single live stream. I think the first time was the Darth Vader a long time ago that Chris Nealon bought. Thank you, Robin. And I think Jerry's complimenting him in his own way. <laughs> You don't necessarily have to. Uh, Shay picked the German Shepherd, and I'm not in charge of the voting in the in the scroll off group. They everybody wants to do that dang Harley Quinn, and yeah, Shay won by one minute forty two seconds. Three cuts, three little bitty cuts. But she won fair and square. Thank you, Tom. But not all, as you all well know, not all my projects are going to go this quick. Now, the uh, this one here would, but I'm double stacking it. I've already started it, so that's another one that will go kind of quick. That's my behind-the-scenes cutting. Steve says she likes the signature better. Steve says, wow, that was close. Yeah, I, I like this style of signature, but it's definitely sloppier because for some reason, and I'm not trying to be funny, that the blade had a little wiggle to it, but I had the tension as size as I could get it. But on a bigger piece, I can get it. No, because I still shouldn't do a large signature. But yeah, I like the way this one looks. But I'm a little biased. 
I know what you're going to do now. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to eat, by God. I'm going to go to Disneyland. All I right, couldn't folks. do that. Y'all have a good evening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here, Herb. He is gone. I uh, I have broken my signature before, and when that happens, I have to just cut it completely off. I uh, I have I have a uh, a whole folder of options for live streams uh, on my computer, and there are quite a few detailed ones in there. I'm a little scared to try that leopard with logs. That that one's got 3,256 cuts because Russ Beard counted them. That one can be done. Yeah, but not in one live stream. I promise you that, unless I have some serious health. <laughs> I hate to end a live stream with 18 people watching, dang it. But we did finish the project, so uh, we will figure something out for the next one, and uh, if you're subscribed, click on that bell, click on the word all, and you will not miss anything. And uh, connect with me on Facebook. My personal profile is the Charles Deering. My business page is Charles Deering Wood and Visions. I can't keep going, Robin. I have nothing else to work on. Unless y'all wanted me to work on that. Uh... No, I'm hungry. I don't want to tease anybody. I, I can't. I'm not going to eat on a live stream. <laughs> uh, it does suck going to bed this hour, ending a live stream this early. But yeah, it's. Uh, I guess I could. We do have 19 people watching. Screw it. Let's do it. That's slightly flexible. Yes, dear. Okay, let me grab the one I just picked up. I guess we'll finish that one. I say finish, but we'll see. We can still say that's Marshall Dillon. He's just looking down. But this one's double stacked, so it's going to take a little longer. I mean, a little slower. You know what I mean. Y'all are used to slow, so that should kind of work out. All right. So this is a relatively simple design. Also available at uh, woodenvisions.com. Fully mean to stay, and even though I'm starving to death, that's fine. <laughs> really good to your room, but stay here. I wish I hadn't given in. I am hungry. Dag it. Oh, well. <clears throat> oh, she don't care if I starve to death. Come on now. And I may not finish this one, but we can work on it because it is going to go slower doing double stack. But I've been doing single stack so much lately that I almost forgot what it felt like to double stack. I, I don't have any quick snacks and I don't like to eat on camera. <laughs> Yes, I'm committed, and I need to be committed, too. <laughs> it has been argued. All right. So, yeah, since y'all are in the chat, if anybody new comes in, you got to explain to them why they're not seeing Marshall Dillon. Just saying. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> That's, I sound like an old man when I'm getting in my chair. A little tall. All right, then. Another one of those, what I consider somewhat simple patterns. If it was single stack, it could probably be done 
watching this thing go live stream. But I was working on it behind the scenes for something to do. I don't want to cheat on my viewers. That was fun. Hello, Liz. And so you guys. I'm sorry if I missed anybody. <clears throat> but the people are making me work, so I can't stop and read comments too often. I'm just kidding. Usually it's detailed designs that I double stack because I don't want to have to cut them again for a while. But there again, wood supply is getting a little bit low, but not dangerous yet. Hello, Herb, again. It's a lot quieter out in the chat, just saying. <laughs> Herb, now you can read them backwards all you want.
herbal left to hit on my bottles. <laughs> yeah. Got 20 people watching. I appreciate you. If you're wondering why we're not working on Mercer Dillon, it's because we finished them. And so you can uh, rewind the video to see that. Spider crawling on that. They would have killed ten ordinary men. So if I die of starvation, we all get to blame Robin. Well, I don't mind being here. If I was that hungry, I wouldn't be scrolling. see the spider? I mean, because it was kind of small. I don't even know if it was on camera. <laughs> I thought it was a piece of dust riding along the project, but no, it had legs. <laughs> now, if it was a tarantula or something, I wouldn't have been so calm. <laughs> Just saying. Hello, Lola.
I went way off the line on that, but it's just her, her wrinkle on her shirt, so it doesn't really matter. I don't even know what this pattern is called on my website. Probably cowboy with rope or just cowboy hell. I don't know. Hello, Maxine. Thank you, ma'am. I don't know if you've ever been here before, but it's good to see you. hope you'll consider sticking around. Even subscribing wouldn't bother me any. Slapping 423 thumbs ups. Okay, maybe I'm asking a little more much, but thank you for being here, Maxine. And I know this doesn't apply like commercial Dylan, but I finished that one. Yes, I was talking to you. <laughs> You will find we got a very, very friendly chat section out there. They're friendly to other viewers. To me, that it can be questionable. Click on that bell and then the word all. I try to do daily live streams, but I don't always. And I'm during the week, I shoot for evening time, 6 6 30 central time. Hello, Leonard. Thank you for dropping by, Herb. Oh, the tool is called a uh, scroll saw, Maxine. Wonderful tool, very addicting once you learn to use it. Scroll saw. Thank you very much, uh, Maxine. Usually my, my lives are pretty, enter, pretty entertaining with humor, but I'm getting a little bit tired and my panel is not here. So <laughs> sometimes the chat is the most exciting part, but, you know, I'll, I'll do what I can on my end. I try to have a personality and use it. If you want to see the Marshall Dillon we were working on, you'd have to go back earlier in the video. I don't usually finish projects on a single live stream. And here we are headed towards new project. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. I said hi too, Lola. I hope you heard that, unless you're not talking to me.
all, uh, if you leave here liking what you saw, I hope you'll tell everybody you know about me. And uh, I need to check out your channel. I'm terrible about keeping up with people, I'm not going to lie. And only tell them the good stuff because we want them to stay. I'm okay, uh, Denise. I chat's not real active, and I don't mind looking over and reading them. But thank you. Usually, actually, not this quiet, Maxine. I'm just getting a little tired. I'm known for hating dead air, so I, I will babble the hell out of the live stream. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. Let's not be dogging myself. Which I'm also used to be known for. If I do this right, Maxine, you're going to end up wanting a troll saw. Because once you try it and have a little bit of patience learning it, you'll be addicted. I still have a happy trail stuck in my head because of her. <laughs> he would enjoy that. Let's take a drink. monkey I see a ghost <laughs> he's already giggling ladies and gentlemen mr. Billy Burke <laughs> oh man it's dang good to see you dag nevit that's mr. Billy Burke hey, uh, everybody. 
message to well i'll let you tell them you want to tell people they can find you sir yeah you can find me at the messy scroller on youtube or the messy studio or billy burt senior on facebook and uh, Billy Burt Sr. on Instagram and uh, the Missy Studio or Billy Burt Sr. one on uh, TikTok. All right. So I'm all over the place. Yeah, buddy is. And he had not been on this panel in how long has it been? <laughs> it, it's been a while. Well, it's dang good to see you. Uh, yeah. All right. So that's, that's, that's a pleasant surprise. Thank you, sir. You looked like you were wavering, so I came in to torture you. Am I wavering? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't get enough torture. <laughs> uh, that's a uh, thing good to see. You. I know I'm over saying it, but it is. All right. Now I got to work. <laughs> <laughs> Doug said, what the hell, Billy? You're going to give Charles a heart attack. Yeah, I, I would say it, I figured it was uh, John home from work or something, but no. Nope. That's why it took me a second to acknowledge you. <laughs> <laughs> now, the first time Billy was ever here, he gave me a heart attack because <laughs> of topic. Topic. Uh, you he don't want me to say it. Yeah, he wasn't real familiar with the whole family friendly thing. <clears throat> yeah, you don't you don't want me to repeat it. Uh Denise it, Billy's in the group chat. That's how we had the link. I didn't send it to him after I told you I didn't need help. <laughs> I haven't had the heart to kick Billy out. Well, I know he's 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 been begging me. Just a little bit. <laughs> I try to mix it up so where it's not daily, you know, because I still want to keep a friendship. But yeah, every now and then I try to get him to pack his bag for a guilt trip. Lola said, "Hey Charles, it could be Toto." stuck in my head. Well, I prefer that be stuck in my head, but I don't know the whole song. Well, it didn't look like uh, Maxine stuck around too long, so maybe I sounded too ugly. Okay. It was good, like, Denise. Hello, Lola. Sounds like I'm calling her shallow. I didn't mean that. I'm just talking myself. <laughs> It was it was good. We we had twenty people less than we were expecting, but we still had about fifty five. Thirty five less than we expected. That's a lot of people. Yes. Do you want to sing for us? I, I don't sing. Fine. He doesn't do cartwheels either. I want y'all to know that. I tried, but he won't. <laughs> oh well, yeah, I sing sometimes, but. Yeah. <laughs> now you're already getting requests. Right. You know, my, wife, my wife said, you liar, you sing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sing when I'm in my shop. and I. You got two requests for Africa now. House. I am not singing Africa by Toto. Thank you very much. Yeah, but how about Tiny Tim? That's all you get. All right, folks. Nap, you got that for free. Anymore, he's going to charge you. That's what I said, Shay. Now, I have one video, one, one of my turning videos where I actually, I'm in the middle of turning, because I sing when I'm in the shop. Yeah. And I got one turning video where I actually sang the entirety of... Uh, Let it go, Frozen? I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> Constant Rising Sun. Were you ever a, uh, what you call it, uh, karaoke aficionado? No. Mm -hmm. No, I love I, the hell I, out of karaoke. I, I don't do karaoke. There's no way, no how. I love karaoke. 
I wish I could afford like a high dollar system, you know, all the bells and whistles. That I love karaoke. I don't sing much of anything anymore, Lola, really, because I, uh, I used to sing tenor, but I don't have that capability anymore. I can't hit those high notes. I thought you were going to do the, the dad joke 10 or 12 feet away from the mic. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. They they asked me to sing tenor at church, ten or twelve miles down the road. <laughs> yeah, don't don't let Billy's politeness fool you. He's gonna throw in them dad jokes when he gets comfortable, unless he's tired. He sounds a little bit tired. You you know why they call tree bark bark, Charles? Oh God, no. Because it's rough. There you go. <laughs> Oh, Lord. I'm done. <laughs> Y'all just said it. He ain't done. Trust me on this. <laughs> I miss karaoke, man. Back before I had kids, I did it every night of the week, anywhere I could go. Doug said I sing Let It Go to Robin all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I've been known to sing on my live streams, not seriously, because I'm shy. And yes, when it comes to singing, I'm shy. I can do it on the stage, but not in a little setting like this. It, it, it's, it's funny. My kids have heard me lead, lead singing at church all their lives. And my youngest daughter has a karaoke machine and I won't do it. <laughs> I just... I, uh, uh, uh. Well, for me, having anxiety and... Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Being shy <laughs> when it comes to singing my... I don't know why on a stage is no problem, but in a, in a little setting, for lack of a better word, like this, I can't do it. I, I can jokingly sing, but I can't give it my all. I got a better one for you, Lola. Three Irishmen walk out of a bar. It could happen. That's, that's a... <laughs> for those of you that have to have it explained, Irishmen are known for drinking. <laughs> they don't aren't likely to leave a bar. Okay. There you go. Two guys walk into a bar, the third one ducked. Yeah. Doug said they hurt themselves too, didn't they? <laughs> the, yeah, Lola was on and the And she same. said you'd think one of them would have seen it. Yeah. And he said Doug needs to sing for us. <laughs> Billy doesn't drink a lot, but he spits a lot. I do what a lot? That. Your dip. Oh, yeah. 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 You see him holding a bottle or a glass, it's usually the spit in, not the drink. Well, you unless know. it's this one and I've got water in it. Oh, yeah. You don't want to mix the two up. Just say, <laughs> <laughs> drink the one with the straw. <laughs> That's why I drink out of a straw. Uh, thank I you, Denise. No. Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. Mike Kim said, I'm not Irish, but my liver has dual citizenship. <laughs> That's funny right there. I think people would be way entertained if I got just drunk. woke back up. So how you been, Mr. Kim? Nancy said... Got all the pieces cut out and come to realize the wood is not the right thickness. Glue in the pieces double and see if that works. Oh, I hate when I do that, Nancy. I might be a record for how quick we ran off Maxine. Usually it takes me a little longer than that. A little longer than that. <laughs> Maxine, you still here? Larry says, sorry guys and gals, I just had to take a break. I was getting upset, but I'm going to try call Delta tomorrow and see if I can 
get all the bearings. When you start to get upset, Larry, just take deep breath and count. That's right. And then sing a song. The bearings out on your Delta, Larry? JB said, I just got kicked out of church choir for being tone deaf. Or no, I got kicked out of church choir for being tone deaf. Uh, Mike said, been okay, thanks. Everybody saying hi to everybody else. And we're caught up. Couldn't have done it without Billy. At least not on Mike. Kind of sucks not having Cliff around anymore, doesn't it? Yeah, what? Kind of sucks not having Cliff around anymore because they can't keep the signal out there. Oh, yeah. You always liked him best. <laughs> <laughs> y'all have a y'all did have a good rapport. We do. Yeah. What kind of bearing problem is Larry having? I don't. I didn't I see have, that. I have no clue. Oh, he said yes or not completely, but it's clicking when I use it. That would be his bearing problem. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm be, guessing. Be, be, bearings aren't supposed to click. That might be why there's a problem. Maybe. Or even when they're bad, they don't click. Okay, I don't know. I'm trying to sound no. intelligent. They're, Typically, if a bearing's going bad, it squeals. It don't click. <clears throat> Larry said, yes, Charles. How is he doing, Charles? I'm assuming he's doing? talking about I'm assuming he's talking about Cliffy. Oh. He gets depressed now and then because of the joys of divorce, but uh Oh yeah. Uh, other than that, doing okay, I reckon. Having a hell of a time trying to sell his house. <coughs> and thank you, Rash, and thank you for deciphering that. Uh, I didn't have a clue what he was talking about. It took me a minute. <laughs> I read it three times and I was like, um, or, uh, he's <laughs> made. I burp inwards, I'm wired backwards. That it's, make, it's making a tinging sound. That sounds like uh, metal on metal, very lightly. I'm totally trying to think guessing. What it, trying to think what it might be. Is there anything metal near the lower lower arm of your saw, uh, Larry? When I had a weird tinging sound, it was metal, very lightly. While the arm was going up and down, it, it would be hitting something metal very slightly, and that made a tinging sound. So if you get your ears and eyes close to where the sound's coming from, it might help, unless it's internal. Sorry if I interrupted you, Billy. I was going to say, one thing you can do to locate where it's coming from is take a, a short dowel or a piece of broom handle and stick it to various metal parts of the saw and hold it up by your ear and listen. And as you get closer to what's causing the noise, it'll get louder. And you can dial in where it's coming from and maybe that'll help you. 
but don't don't stick that's, the dowel in your ear or the heart. And, and no, yeah, that, no, that, that's an old mechanic trick. I ain't no that. See, Billy knows yeah. stuff. Have, have a hard time figuring out what lifter is making the noise. That's how you listen. Yeah, and that's definitely a clicking sound. Or am I thinking of something else? No, I think I think it is a clicking sound. Yeah, they'll make a, they'll make a clicking sound. The only stuff I know about working on a vehicle is from having a piece of crap vehicles. But I'd still rather let somebody else do it. I guess Maxine did leave because she never answered me. Yeah, I have that effect on women. And I didn't even flirt with her. <laughs> you know, that, no. that's usually what could run a woman off. Maybe it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know her? I mean, have y'all corresponded before? Uh, no, not really, but I've seen her in other people's uh, yeah. premieres and lives and stuff. Hey, you don't well, do live streams anymore, right? She's back. She had to check her laundry. Oh, okay. I thought I ran her off. That was kind well, of a record. Well, welcome back, Miss Maxine. You don't do live streams anymore, right? They're premieres. Who, me? Yeah. Uh, I do lives on my scrolling channel, but uh, all my turning stuff is mostly premieres has it been a while since you've done a scrolling video or it has not getting notification okay no it, it has the last scrolling i did is actually going to be next week's video on my turning channel because i scrolled one of those stackable bowls you know where you scroll everything out of one piece of wood yeah. turn it slightly and stack them up yep and then i put them in a mold and filled it with resin Oh, Lord, I bet that's going to be cool. I don't know. We're going to find out. <laughs> it's either going to be awesome or it's going to be a hell of a train wreck. <laughs> One of the two. The next thing, next time you leave, you got to you gotta let us know because I was crying over here. He, he really was. I was because I need friends. <laughs> Thank you for working with me, Billy. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> uh... Mike asked Larry if he was any way he could video it for so we so others could listen to the sound. And Larry said it's coming from the top blade arm. So it might be internal. It might be. I'm, I haven't tried to take mine apart, so I wouldn't know how to do it. But it I'm still scared sounds of taking like, things apart. <laughs> <laughs> it's still. Uh, sounds like it could be maybe something loose tapping on something that ain't. <laughs> that narrows it down. Something's loose. Something hey. ain't. And they're hitting uh, each other. <laughs> yeah. That's usually the way it goes. <laughs> yeah. Maxine said thanks, y'all. Like it, what, what do they say? If it moves and it's not supposed to duct tape or bail and wire uh-huh she said what did i not answer i asked if you were still here i'm not single but i can't discuss publicly why i'm able to flirt she uh, said i'm single flirt all you want as long as you're single lol <laughs> well that's yeah. why i i will never lie to a woman but uh there's a reason i flirt and i'm okay with flirting and it's okay i just can't say it publicly uh oh, we crack her up. And she hadn't even seen me yet. Woo! <laughs> well, that pretty much does it for me. I'm an equal opportunity float. Me too. Now, Maxine, I do need you to know that I would rather die than intentionally disrespect a woman. So sometimes I don't know when to stop learning. So I apologize in advance. I mean, no and, harm. And, and he's right there. He don't know when to stop. Well, thanks for scaring the hell out of her, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> huh. 
Oh, God almighty. But, but we try to tell him. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got seven restraining orders against me. Come on now. That's a joke, Maxine. Oh, that's two less than you had last time. Yep, yep, yep. But we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, whatever game I had, he just threw a wrench in it. <laughs> oh, good lordy. A wing, a wing man he is not. Aren't you glad I'm back? Yeah. <laughs> Larry said, that makes good sense to me, Mr. Billy. Is there a way to take, like, if the Delta, I assume the Delta is the one he's talking about. Now, yes. De the Delta uh, one of those saws that has two halves, you can take one half off and the saw still works? You don't know, say. I haven't taken them out apart. I, I don't know. Oh. Uh, Maxine, that's Mike Kim. Hello, Mark Lindsay. Hi, Mark. Uh, dances with the Aardvarks is, that I mean, that's his name is Mike Kim. Yes, not K I M. Okay, Liz. She said be back soon. Denise said Charles is a big flirt, but it's all in fun, no harm. Thanks, Denise. I tried for the longest time to con convince Denise that she was in love with me. She never, she never, uh, believe me. Mark said, you just keep thinking that way, Denise. <laughs> that can be taken any number of ways. And Denise says, I never got one yet. Got one what? Oh, restraining order. Oh, yeah. And the key word might be yet, but. <laughs> JJ's still with us. Saying hi to Mark. Cool. Maxine said it's okay, LOL. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe Maxine lives on the edge. You just don't never know. Living on the edge. Don't you love it? Uh, and this has nothing to do with Maxine or any of the women in the chat. I'm stuck in my head now. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm glad I could share that misery. I, uh, didn't you love it growing up when girls said they were into bad boys and then they complain when they're treated like crap? It's like, what, what part of bad did you not understand? Just saying. No, I never experienced nothing like that. It's a Delta model 40-694. It's built on the D wall pattern series one. Yes, it is. So it should Same be able to take half of it off, right? but I don't want to assume that. So don't, don't take my word as a uh, fact. I don't neither. I'd have to, I'd have to Google a parts breakdown and examine it. Yes, he is Denise. What am I? Married. Yeah, I said that. Y'all making it sound like I got some deep dark secret. I done told her that. Denise is one of the few people that knows my circumstance, but that you know. She knows why I can't talk about it publicly. Oh, no. She said, Charles, you're married. Never mind. I know that. I don't need to be reminded. Good, good googling mugly. I, I read it wrong. My bad. It's all good. It's all good. I hate these new trifocals. Uh, Maxine says, Mike, okay, got it. I think mine are trifocals. It took me forever to get used to scrolling with them. Mark said, I warned my daughters about that, Charles. The bad boy you're choosing now will be the jerk they're trying to get child support out of in 10 years. Or you're trying to get child support out of in 10 years. Yeah. Now, uh, I am intelligent enough to know that bad boy doesn't necessarily mean bad. It's just a guy that's not wimpy, a guy that's, you know, confident, uh, not afraid to stand up for a girl kind of deal. Not necessarily like a drug dealer or a guy that's always in and out of jail. So I get 
I get the attraction. I just don't care. Denise said, Mark, boy, do I know. I learned. Maxine said, you never know. And uh, this is going to come out strange, but no, it's not going to be strange. About, and I'm being sincere here, growing up, about the only time women really appreciated me was was after they'd been treated like severe crap. And sadly, that's a common occurrence these days, is women being treated like crap. Shay says, the trick is to find one that looks like a bad boy but is a sweetheart. Yep, she's referring to Brian. Yeah, she's all goo-goo. I can sound like a bad boy. Work with me, Billy. Tell him, tell him I'm a bad boy. <laughs> Denise said, Charles, I love you as a friend. Aw, diddly. Mark said, and to all the ladies out there who are looking for that one decent guy, check your friend zone. Amen. Maxine said, Shay, that's right. And he said, Shay, that's hard to find. And I'm not trying to be funny, but I don't think I look like a bad boy. I just, I definitely, <laughs> never mind. Maxine I'm more of a said, naughty boy than a bad boy. Ah. Maxine said she's looking for a good man who is nice and doesn't disrespect women. That's why I preface my flirting. I'm not, I'm not throwing in an application yeah. there. Shay said, I got lucky, I think. Mike said, I don't flirt. I sing like Tom Jones and wait for the panties. <laughs> been been, been waiting hell. since. Wait, wait, let me finish. Been waiting since 1984. Might get some singing lessons. <laughs> Thanks for chunking me under the bus there, Shay. <sighs> oh, you read her comment. She, you're far from one. Yeah. Maxine said, Mark, I agree. Sometimes the thing you're looking for is right in front of your face. Not that I try to be a bad boy, but I can carry my own, but that doesn't make me a bad boy. <laughs> Nancy said, sorry, Maxine, I got him first. <laughs> <laughs> Maxine said, oh, Nancy, does he have any brothers, LOL? And we's caught up. Now, I think, uh, just for the sake of conversation, in high school, I I probably had kind of a bad boy look, but I've never considered myself a bad boy because I was raised good, and I, there's no other way to say it. Nancy said, yes, he does, but they're the opposite of my husband. Not good guys. It is so sad how common either mental or physical abuse is these days. Very sad. <laughs> yep. Maxine said, oh, nope, that's not going to work. I mean, it gets to where it doesn't shock you, I mean, at all, because it's so common. Yeah, and I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't either. I truly, sincerely do not. Maxine said all the men in here seem very respectful. Well, we try to be. I try to be, but there again, I sometimes I don't know when to stop flirting. And I'm just me calling myself out. 
I know when there's a butcher knife out, I, I tend to stop. <laughs> Little joke there. I'm not all righty there. I, I tried to just be myself and be funny, but yeah, usually I'm on my own worst target, and everybody Denise, knows that about me. Denise said, Maxine, they are, and Steve Nealon says, sometimes. You got to your room. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Nealon. Again, I think. She said, Charles can't stop. I've never She's made it a secret that I'm a flirt, <laughs> but I'm a respectful <laughs> flirt, or none of y'all would be here, dag nabbit. Thank you, ma'am. Speaking of that, when I said ma'am, that got me to thinking. One thing that bothers the crap out of me, most of us in our generation were born to say, ma'am and sir. And then you got people saying, don't call me, sir. It makes me feel old. It's like, really? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, hey, oh. Uh, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> what are you gonna do, eh? <laughs> He's trying to sound like the Charlie Man, just saying. Now, Maxine, this is an example of what I call a uh, negative space. Because there's almost no lines other than maybe the rope down here. It's the shadows that make it a picture. That's that's what's what I think is so neat about this design. Mark said, between oh, you and me, Miss Maxine, I'm too old to be anything but respectful. I can relate to that. And Charles said, I only... Uh, so Maxine said the picture's coming out stunning. And Steve said, I only flirt in YouTube comments. Right, Billy? <laughs> sir and ma'am is all I know. And I hate it when somebody says, yeah, instead of yes, sir, yes, ma'am. And that, that, that's, just, that's just me being snooty, I guess. Well, maybe not snooty. Well, no, it's just it's the way I was raised. I tell yeah. people when they tell me when I say yes, ma'am, or no, ma'am, or yes, sir, no, sir. They said, ma'am. I'm sorry, it's where I was raised. Yeah. Uh, of Denise said, it's all good, Charles. I don't ask Shay to send me uh, a form for a restraining order. Or I didn't. And Shay did offer. And and Mark said, it's a regional thing, Charles. I noticed sir and ma'am more prevalent in the South. Yes, it is. Me and Billy are both in the South. Nancy said, I just realized he's working on another piece. It's, this is what happens when you're just listening and not looking. Yeah, he finished the first Marshall Dillon, and he's working on a second. And Nancy and uh, Robin says, Nancy, he was going to quit, and I convinced him to stay, and then I went and got some people. Twink. Twink. <laughs> it sounds funnier when you say it. <laughs> I, uh. I got distracted by Steve Nealon's comment on this, uh, uh, honestly. Uh, Robin said, some people like to be called Miss. Well, that's not the way we was raised here in the South. We say ma'am. Now, I, uh, another bad habit I have, which is not necessarily considered sexist, but some really tightly wound people would say so. I have a tendency to say Darwin, and I catch myself. I'm, said, I'm sorry. I meant ma'am. Sorry. <laughs> And it's not because I'm a hick, it's just maybe it is because I'm a hick. Never mind. Oh, no. If we're at a restaurant or something, I can't help myself. I am constantly find myself calling my, saying stuff to my server like, thank you, sweetie. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Yeah. You know. Now, sugar buns is stretching it. You know, that one can get kind That of would be a, yeah, that'd be a little too far. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I call them Nancy by their name said, if I know them. Yeah, uh, Nancy said, I taught my son to say Ms. or Mr. So-and-so. That's, yes, that's not bad. Steve said, I've been married too long to flirt online, Denise. I only do it as a joke once in a while. 
I do it Mark, constantly. Mark said I was caught. I was taught to call men Mister Blank and women Miss Blank until they told me otherwise. That's right. Yep. JJ said drink. Shay said I call people by their name. Mark said my Texan grandmother called anyone younger than her sugar. Yep. Yeah, but some of the names Shaylee calls me. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. Well, yeah. There was a, sometimes my wife calls me anything but a loving husband. But <laughs> yep. I'll be right back. I'm out of water. All right, then. You shouldn't let that happen. Amen. Maxine. People just want to have something to be mad about, you know? Yeah, especially these days. I'm offended. Well, get over it, Cletus. It all started, in my opinion, with participation trophies. People and I mean this respectfully, people need to know what it's like to not always win, to, to not always be the top of the, you know, the church, whatever. I can't think of the word. You don't appreciate winning unless you know what it's like to lose. Just saying. I used to get bent out of shape about people being uh, all offended about everything, and now... And now, when I hear somebody say something like, well, that triggers me. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. And I'm I, so I, sorry, Snowflake. All that safe space crap. And I, I wish I was kidding. And I'm not, I'm not necessarily trying to get political, but my example is political. There was a college campus that offered therapy to people that saw a chalk drawing that was pro-Trump at a, at a college. They needed therapy or counseling. Holy monkey. I don't even know what Denise is saying when she says, yes, you do. And we grew up eating oh, dirt and chewing on sticks and stuff. Uh, I, I didn't. <laughs> I don't know what Denise means when she says, yes, you do. I probably shouldn't ask. And yes, Shay is correct. These days, you can't tell if they're a man or a sir. And damn you for assuming. Right. You remember back when only women could have babies? Me too. <laughs> Holy golly, don't get me started. I just saw a gnat go across my laptop screen, and I thought my mouse was moving. Uh, Mike said, I got in trubs for reminding someone that men are from don't Mars. Don't read that last are... word, please. Oh, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. What, what's wrong with Uranus? Like that's nothing. <laughs> I thought, never mind. <laughs> and, and the women are from Venus and all the rest are from Uranus. I don't get it. What's wrong with that? I thought you were going to pronounce it the other way, and the joke would have been. Well, no, as a, as a former science teacher, I pronounced it that way okay. when I was teaching because it kept the class from falling into the giggles. That, that's what I was trying to prevent. I didn't know you'd pronounce it that way, so thank you. <laughs> I, I don't know if you knew this. I am trying to clean up somewhat the uh, the degree of off the rails we go in the chat and some of the smack talk, but I, I allow a lot of that I've, in. I've I, not yeah. yet begun to fight. Uh, I got, <laughs> yeah, that's what scares me, but welcome back. Don't, <laughs> Mark don't, said, don't. yeah, we always had food, Billy. Yep. Yeah, don't read Robin's comment, please. 
although you pronounce it differently, still. <laughs> As Steve Nealon would say, there's a lot of 12 year olds. <laughs> no, I, I think Robin meant her in this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, ask around, Denise, because there's a lot of people that think these days that men can have babies because, you know, never mind, I'm going to, I could potentially. Yeah, we probably ought to stop while we're ahead. Yeah, because you never know who's going to watch and to each their own. All I know is I'm glad I'm not teaching science these days. You ain't lying. Mark said the fact that you're. Mark said the fact that you're cleaning up your act image or clean up your image is why I haven't jumped into the panel, Charles. I'm doing my <laughs> part to help you in that endeavor. Thank you, sir. Well, okay, in cleaning up my image, I don't think I necessarily have a bad image, uh, but it is a lot my own fault that I'm not taking 100 percent seriously because of myself. But and I know my panel will admit they've helped. But yeah, I want to. I used to feel more relevant in the community, and I'm wanting to get back to that. And that's with all the sincerity. I still want to have a sense of humor. I just want to steer it a little bit. You already cut that line. No, I'm going back through it to come down because when I'm double stacking, I'm more likely to break the blade, pulling the piece instead of pushing it. <laughs> I, know, I know that. I just had to be. Well, I didn't want to assume what you were assuming, but I knew that you knew. That made sense when I thought of it. That's called backtrack in your cut. Yes, sir. For those out there that don't know. I ain't noted till Billy told me. Yes, I said I ain't noted. Mark said, I'm the biggest blank disturber you have on, LOL. <laughs> and Liz is back. Welcome back, my lady. Denise, I'm just fine as frog's hair. How are you? Ain't no blood of hairy frog. Hey. You ever seen the hair on a frog? No, sir. Pretty fine. I, I've never really stared down a frog, neither. That's, that's just me. And then Mark said, well, me and Russ. <laughs> Virtually every time, and I'm not trying to scare anybody here, virtually every time I catch myself flirting a little too much, I will contact such and such behind the scenes saying, letting them know. I mean, I mean no disrespect. I mean no harm. That's why they still come to the chats because I let them know there's no harm intended. Some I, sometimes I think after I act, not act, you know what I mean, after I talk. Anyhow, Mike asked Mark if it's possible to see and see glass. Wow, that's a good question. I would imagine etching potentially if you just barely kiss the surface. I'm totally uneducated on that. I'm just totally guessing. It is possible, according to Mark Lindsay, and Billy has to mute himself, so that's why I'm reading the comment. 
Uh, oh, sorry, I, you, yeah, yeah, we got a phone call going good. on in the background. I understand. Uh, Mark says, it is, Mike. I haven't done a video on it yet, but I plan to. I want to experiment with it. Yeah, I would imagine, and Mark, correct me if I'm wrong, On based on educated guess, I would assume it's just like engraving in that you just very lightly kiss the surface. Because I know some etching is done with chemicals, right? Uh, or masking tape and sandblasting. Ah, uh, yeah. And there's a term for that chemical etching, but I can't remember. I think it's chemical etching. I don't know. I know a guy that does it, and I can't remember which method he uses. If it's done right, it looks outstanding. But if it's done wrong, it looks like crap -ally. Oh, yeah, he does a great job. I've had him do some things for me. Mike said I saw a cool... Oh, uh, okay. Charles. Denise says, Charles, and you did message. I thank you for respecting others. And Mike says, I saw a cool video cutting a spiral in a bottle. Might see if I could do it on my router lathe. Hmm. And Mark said, exactly, Charles etching is done with diamond tip bits. And frosting is done with chemicals and or sandblasting. Frosting, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah. Yo. I I honestly don't remember what what John uses, but I know a couple in Ohio that use sandblasting. Yeah, you were calling it masking tape, but I think, and I think you meant this, but it's more of like a foam ish, for lack of a better word. Like, like a uh, poster, not poster wrap. No, the, thick, the thickness to it. The, uh, you know, like foam tape. I think the, the couple that I knew in Ohio that were doing it were using masking tape. Oh, okay. I thought there was some kind of uh, foam stuff, and then maybe the bow. I mean, well, it could be. <laughs> Steve Nealon says glass etching with chemicals is easy, Denise. Uh, she's like, is, he, is etching easier than scroll saw? Well, yeah, probably. Now, Steve, uh, on that glass etching with chemicals, but if you want to get a, a fade, it would be a matter of controlling that chemical, right? Like, is it about length of time on the on the mirror or, or glass, or is it a matter of a method? Armor edge. Okay, back to you, Bill. <laughs> Mark said I almost made the world's worst. Want to come see my etchings joke? But I'm better than that. Okay, no, I'm not. But still, <laughs> <laughs> Shay said, said etching is easy. Jinx, show me a coke. Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm still in your job. It's a bad habit. I still have it, even from the last time you were here. I, uh, uh, Steve said he uses armor etch with stencils. And see, there's something else stays up. Uh, Stace. Why did I say Stace? Shay might start doing on her lives. I'm not volunteering her, but it makes me wonder. And she says it's easy. By golly, there's you another thing to do on a live stream. You're welcome. Denise said, Shay, I wanted to try, but some chemicals bother my lungs. Steve said, longer it's on, the deeper the etch. But you can okay. etch over and over depending on how deep you want. And that would give you your shading, I guess. That's the same as wood burning in a sense. Yeah. Except it's on wood, of course. I figured that out all by myself. <laughs> Whoa, look at yeah, that. Yeah, I know. I know. You just never know what you're going to learn. How do we mess around and finish two projects on one live stream? That's just not right. Don't check your couches before you're hatched. What? You sound as bad as her reading comments backwards. <laughs> The fact that you can do it so good is what scares the crap out of me. It's like, oh, he's been practicing that dad joke crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Mark said armor etch and some kind of mask is fairly simple. It's getting the mask just right that takes the most time. I frosted the back windows of my car years ago. Steve said it's easy to mask with a vinyl cutter, Mark. As in cricket or cry cut or however you want to pronounce it. Cricket. Okay, I'm going to stretch my back a tiny bit. Been here dang near four hours, but that's all right. It ain't going to kill me. I just got to stretch a tiny bit, and we'll get back on this, Cletus. <laughs> Mark said, don't hatch at your counts before they chicken. I, I think he, he said that. Did he say that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do believe he did, but uh, you could give me $1,000. I wouldn't be able to pay for these fans. It was. I don't think I could either. <laughs> <laughs> you serious? Yeah. <laughs> yes, because what I was intending to say is what I said. No, okay, so you were hiding that part. I I was trying to do what you think I did. I boxed <laughs> it way up. Oh, that's funny. You see, it was funnier until you said that. Now we know you screwed it up. Yeah, I did screw it up. I thought she was perfect till that. <laughs> Steve said, I also make stainless, stainless with chemicals. You Mark know me, said, Billy. I keep replaying it in my head. That's why I get the gig. I know. Mark said, That won't, that wasn't an option when I did it in 1979, Steve. LOL. I was nine years old in 1979. Yeah, don't match at your counts before the chicken. I believe that's pretty close to what I said. Yes, sir. That wasn't what I intended to yeah, say. Yeah, saying it in text, you did butcher it. <laughs> Mark said it. I, I, I know you think you understood what I said, but what you heard wasn't what I meant. <laughs> there are times you and Mark compete for the dad joke trophy, just saying. <laughs> I'm sorry if that burst the bubble. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I know you wanted to be on top of that. Hey, if any of y'all are watching for the first time, it helps consider subscribing, clicking on the bell, clicking on the word all. I try to do daily live streams. Go ahead, Billy. I heard you spit like you're parting your lips to talk. <laughs> Mark said, oh, Billy has beat me by a mile, Charles. <laughs> or has me beat by a mile. Well, I didn't mm. want to get him a big head. So. <clears throat> I think Billy's proud of that, but he can let us know. What I intended to say was... <laughs> Don't chick. <laughs> Don't See, chick now you your, can't do it. I know. Don't chick your hatchings before they count is what I intended to say. <laughs> That's just as twisted. <laughs> but but it couldn't them out right. See, now that scares me how good Billy is at getting things exactly backwards. I don't know what you're balking at. See? And here I was trying to get used to her reading comments backwards, and you you saying them back. Never mind. <laughs> I don't buck backwards. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Have you, have you ever heard those people that can actually talk with all the words backwards, literally? Or saying backwards, oh, no, like completely backwards, backwards. Yeah, yeah that, that is that is talent right there. I mean, it's a weird talent. It's it is a weird talent, and it, it, it almost makes me wonder if they're autistic. Yeah, seriously, because to be able to get it perfectly backwards, something was there, <laughs> or not there. Uh, Mark said, "I'm not as think as you dumb I am." No, it would be, "I'm not as I'm not as thumb as you dink I am." Mark, if you want to do it right. 
the mark he just told you, just saying. <laughs> now, I remember being in elementary school and seeing t-shirts that said that. Or Poe Buddies Norfolk. That was that was very prevalent back in the day. Yeah, and if you remember Archie Campbell from Hee Haw, he was even better at it than I am. That's true. He was very good at it. And you hate to tell a whole story. I'm sure there's stuff on YouTube of him telling a story. Oh, like there is. Rendersella? Yeah, Rendersella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rendersella and her, and her ugly blisters. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Or no, Sugly. Yeah. Sugly that's, blisters is what he called them. Oh, Lord. That makes me want to listen to that after I'm done scrolling <laughs> for the people here. Yeah, he did that whole story once in a skit on Hee Haw. But he did it a lot of heck. times. Yeah, I don't know how the heck he does it. I know. Well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Billy. Hell, I know. <laughs> Mark, says, Mark, Mark said her three sisty uglers. But there's one point, point, one point where he calls them "sugly blisters," and that was just—I I just fell out of my chair. I, I'm gonna have to watch him. What, what's his name again? Archie Campbell. Archie Campbell. I yeah, think it was amazing. actually seeing him that got me to doing this. No, uh, well, let me make sure and write a letter to his estate to thank him. <laughs> but the fact that he just rattles it off so quick is, is amazing. You generally do it with two or three words. He does it with his whole story, as you well know. But it just uh, it amazes me. And JJ said he always had his bibs on backwards. Yeah, often did. His bib overalls? Makes it kind of hard to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Billy thinks of everything. <laughs> Mark said, the smoker you drink, the player you get. Joe Walsh album. Yep. Mike says, speaking backwards, letters and words backwards over here is called butcher's talk and was common slang once. Wow. I didn't know that. <laughs> didn't see that coming. Not. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> like leg patting. Big Latin. I had to stop and think. Dang it. You make my brain work too hard. Those who didn't know it, Billy actually studied marine biology at one point, so he has a little bit of intelligence. You taught, taught stuff too, didn't you? I taught biology, yeah. Uh, I didn't study marine biology. I, taught, I studied freshwater biology. Yeah, that's what I meant. I started out with, I started out in ichthyology with freshwater fishes. And switched while I was in graduate school to freshwater entomology. What made you change? I mean, what, what? entomology is a study of bugs or insects, in case y'all are wondering. Uh, I found them more fascinating. That's what I figured it had to be, something like that. Uh, most people go from what we call crunchies and squishies, which are inverts, invertebrates, to vertebrates if they switch. I went from verts to inverts, which is completely backwards. Now that is that is li a literal uh, meaning of whether or not they have vertebrae. Yes. Okay. See, I, I figured that all about myself. Okay. All that to find the best fishing spots, said Mark. <laughs> Hello, Dennis. Hello, Dennis. Long time no see, Seth. Mike said, be right back. Coffee o'clock. Yeah. Okay. 
far as I do, I do love but fishing. There is that, Mark. I'm bored as hell by fishing, but it's probably because I never caught anything. Or mm. rarely. I'm kind of winging it on these ropes. I'm following the curve, but I'm not necessarily following the exact line of the, the hills and valleys. Yeah. Well, our oldest daughter, when she was six or seven, I had them all little fishing poles. And for any of you that, for any any of you that have been fishing quite a bit, especially down here in the south, there was a, a real popular crappie bait called a red horse minnow. Well, it's actually a red fin shiner, but they call them red horse minnows. And she was catching those out of the lake on a rod and reel with the smallest perch hook that I had. I couldn't catch one. They would bite the hook, but I couldn't catch one. She filled the minnow bucket full. She's she's she just got that touch and she's always outfished anybody she ever went fishing with. I always hated it when a fish would find a way to eat the bait but not bite the hook. Because <laughs> you know my granddad you know, showed us using grasshoppers as they, you know, mm -hmm. the movement. Of course, so they drown. <laughs> they don't move a lot when they're dead. Steve asked Dennis how his show was this weekend. And Dennis said it was okay. <laughs> Mark said, fishing is productive laziness. If I sit in my lawn chair all day, I'm lazy. If that lawn chair is on the lake, if that lawn, that lawn chair is on the lake shore, and I have a rod in my hand, it's called fishing. That's right. Also, if you're supervising, that's a fishing. Well, I always used to say, a bad day fishing is better than a good day at work. Yep. Doesn't pay as much. No. Nope. Unless you're selling the fish. But most people do it to edit. Unless they chunk the fish back, of course. We were hoping to go fishing this week, but it's just going to be way too hot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm wondering what this warm temperatures we've been having is going to do to the fish spawns because it's going to trigger them to spawn way early, I think. Yeah. Now, how does that alter the ideal time to fish? I mean, well, it, you it really adjust, it, or is there yeah, you you, yeah, you pretty much have to adjust because the the popular sport fish like the black bass and the, and, and the crappie they all come shallow to spawn so you gotta it, it depends on what kind of bait you're using if you're fishing for black bass whether or not you're going to throw a top water or whether or not you're going to throw a, a deep running crankbait or Make a worm on the it. bottom good lord i have no idea what any of this is about Mark said, we mainly use spinners, spoons, and jigs. We rarely use live bait anymore. Yeah, and Mark's fishing for stuff like uh, trout and salmon and what else they have up there in the great northwest. Perch, maybe. Dennis said, would have been better, not too much rain for people to come out. Good. Or could have been better. Too much rain for people, much people to come out. Oh, that's too bad, Dennis. Steve said, I'd go out to my pond and fish, but that's outside and I hate fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind outside, but I'm fishing pours the living crap out of me. But there again, every time I fished, it was in a crappy <laughs> spot. If I go out and fish in my pond, all I'm going to catch are little goldfish, and I don't want to do that. 
Larry said, if they're young children, then your baiting hooks all day, no time to be lazy. No, negative Ghost Rider, my kids learned to bait their own hooks when they were little. That was that was my least favorite part. And learn how to take their fish off their own hook, too. Uh, yeah, and all my kids fish. They don't all like it, but they all can uh, some of them really like it. Some of them not so much. Mark said, we mainly fish for trout, salmon, and steelhead. But we also fish for bass and crappie. Yeah, they all got them up there, too. Steve said, we have bass and cats in the pond. I would, I would help keep the, the breeding stock controlled for you, Mr. Neyland. Because I, like I like eating both of them. <clears throat> a friend of mine, when, I, when we live in Ohio, he had a nice pond, um, about an acre. And he had it stocked with cats and black bass and I'd go up there and fish with him sometimes. Good stuff, Maynard. All right. Mark said, I love a mess of fried catfish with fried taters. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Steve said, my son fishes some. It's only a quarter acre pond. Denise said she throws crappie back. Denise has lost her mind. Some of the best eating panfish there is on the planet. That and walleye. The one thing I miss about going up to South Dakota is fishing the Missouri River for walleye. Yeah, what is buddy. prominent? What is prominent in your area? Because I'm sure different areas are prominent in different fish. Uh, the, the prominent game fish here is uh, black bass, crappie, and catfish. I've never even heard of black bass. Largemouth bass. Oh, okay. Larry said, we put some copper nose bluegill in our pond. They get pretty big. Now, there's a... The, yes, sunfish will get large there's a lake that we go fishing at a couple times a year where the the, the sunfish bluegill and and red ear and stuff like that they'll get as big as your hand or bigger and be about yay wide oh, yay geez. wide is a measurement in texas it'd be about yay high and, and about <laughs> an inch inch and a half thick with big fish and good eating Billy, you made me hit the back of the saw. Really, I'm sorry. It's all good. I'm gonna let it go uh, this time. Mark said, "I like white and black crappie. Yep, both are good." We we also have. Well, what do we have? We have green ear or green sunfish. Uh, what some people call rock bass, which is uh, a warmouth. It's also a they're all members of the sunfish family. Even crappie and large and smallmouth bass are members of the sunfish family. I know a lot more about fish than I thought I was going to know at the end of this lesson. <laughs> Billy. Twink. Billy, y'all can talk about the fish, but let me scroll. Don't break my blades now. Uh, Denise said, Billy, I like trout the best. Trout's not bad. Mark said the problem with sunfish is they get stunted in small ponds. Yep, they will. Because they, cause they breed like rabbits. <laughs> um, salmon's my favorite, says Mark. Smoked salmon I absolutely love. I'll eat my own weight in smoked salmon. I haven't had salmon in a long time. That was, that was one of the things I loved about living in Alaska. My wife's uncle had a place on the Kenai Keys on the Kenai River and we'd go down there and fish salmon every year. And the the 
pinks you could catch pink salmon just i mean by the truckload but they're really not they they turn mushy too quick and you they're really only good for smoking if there's anybody uh, listening that can't relate to fishing you're not alone we go back to you billy oh that is but but uh the silver <laughs> salmon and the red salmon and the kings oh my goodness henry said we put black perch in our pond too henry is larry by the way oh yeah larry i meant uh, Denise said, I like catfish too. Salmon I can eat, but not much. Maxine says, well, hello again, Maxine. She says, I used to be a general manager of Red Lobster, and I like white fish, LOL. I couldn't have eaten any fish, and I couldn't have eaten any fish, and I just couldn't, LOL. Oh, I, I think she meant I could have. Mark said yellow perch are the same way, Billy. They breed like bluegill and get stunted easily. Perch was the first fish I ever caught. It was in a horse trough. Was it a real perch or was it a sunfish? That uh, was the kind with the real sharp, sharp uh, fins. Yeah, perch. that's pretty much all of them. <laughs> well, I, I don't know the difference. Well, it's down here in the south, especially in Texas, a lot of people refer to the sunfish family like bluegill and red ear and whatnot as perch. Well, it was pretty boring colored. It was pretty bland, if that helps any. They, uh, well, the sunfish can be pretty bland. Uh, the members of the perch family are the yellow perch, which are yellow and green striped. And the walleye, believe it or not, is a perch. Well, it was kind of a... And they're not short and fat like bluegill. They're what we call brim. Uh, perch are longer and, and more streamlined. It was more like an oatmeal color, but a tinge of blue, I guess. But it, it didn't yeah. have any noticeable coloring. Yeah, whitefish is good. That tension don't sound right, so I'm going to reset my... Larry said so we call them brim here. That's right, Larry. That's that's more appropriate than perch. <laughs> Mark said, "Give me a plate of smoked salmon and a jug of iced tea, and I'm set for the day." Denise. That's the one thing I haven't put in my smoker yet is salmon, but I may have to. I haven't had a whole lot of variety of fish as far as eating. I'm not opposed to it. I just haven't. I just, I like it all. I, I'll eat shark. I'll eat. If it's seafood, I, I'll eat it. I'm willing to. I'm not a fan of a, I want to say Chinese food, but like. I like egg rolls, but you know, I'm, that's pretty standard. I'm not opposed to it, but a lot of their stuff is soupy, and I'm not a fan of soupy stuff. A lot of what stu is soupy? Chinese food. Oh. I haven't found that to be the case. Well, then maybe I was limited in what I saw. Mexican and Italian. I, I, I mean, it's all. It, it, the, all the good stuff has a sauce to it, but I wouldn't call it yeah. soupy by any means. Well, I guess the, we. Uh, I'm used to people saying get a get a bowl of something, and it's a bunch of the equivalent to me of broth with, oh. with some stuff in it. And I'm just not a fan of the real. Oh liquidy. yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't like I real you. liquidy foods. Yeah. I love Mexican and Italian food. Love. I'm glad I'm almost done because y'all get me hungry. No, you're the one who bring it, talking about Mexican and Italian food. I didn't say anything. Well, y'all come up eating fish. I mean, it was an I easy talk leap. About, I talk about smoking some salmon, maybe, but and liking crappie. My grandmother could eat her weight in crappie. Well, 
thing I would ever <clears throat> eat is cow tongue. So I don't want to taste something that's tasting me bad. A little joke there. Come on now. They can't all be winners. <laughs> it's, Hello, it's, Chris. It's just, it's just a muscle. Hello, Chris. Oh, I know. I just, it, it was a joke. <laughs> it's, it's just got a real strange texture on the surface. I, I, I imagine. There's some foods I won't eat because of texture. Watermelon, celery, apples. Oh, I don't like Lord. their texture. <clears throat> I love watermelon. Watermelon I don't like at all because of the texture. Mike's seafood and eat it diet is not the most successful diet. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true, Mike. I remember one time one girl wouldn't kiss me until I ate a raw oyster, and then I ate it, she wouldn't kiss me. Mark said spring Chinook salmon are running right about now. We need to get out on the river. Chinook is the red silver salmon, I believe. I sometimes get Chinook and Coho mixed up. To me, a Chinook is a helicopter with two blades on it. That's just me. <laughs> well, actually, a Chinook is a, a, a warm front blowing in off the Sea of Japan if you're up in Alaska. Yeah, I've heard uh, John Cousins use that term a lot when it comes to weather. Yeah. Maxine, where are you located? I mean, I know a lot about these other folks, but I don't know anything about you. Mark I'm not asking for your too. address. Go ahead. I like oh, cod. Yeah, I like I like fresh Atlantic cod. <clears throat> then he said, "Charles watermelon is yummy." Uh, uh, sure, the texture is what I don't like. <clears throat> Now, I do not like the texture of a mealy apple. I don't like the texture a, of any apple. A, a fresh, crisp apple, that's a, I, I, I'll eat them all day. But mealy apples, I cannot stand. And what's funny is I can't stand peanuts, but I love peanut butter. Go figure. I love apple now, juice, apple sauce, and apple butter, but I don't like apples. <laughs> I'm weird. Thank it, you for it, being it, here, it, Nancy, it, by it, the way. It, it, it is weird that you... Night, Nancy. It is weird that you like peanut butter and you don't like peanuts yeah but i there, there again i like peter pan and it's got somewhat of a butter flavor to it for lack of a better word i mean that uh, store brand type type peanut butter tastes too much exactly like peanuts and i don't like it. <clears throat> I, I like them red skin peanuts in my bottle of dr pepper thank you very much something wrong with you mister you done screwed up a good dr pepper mm -mm. By the way, Maxine, if you don't like Dr. Pepper, we probably can't talk. Also known as uh, Spanish peanuts, for those that haven't heard of the red skin peanuts. <clears throat> Mark said, should it turn a bit red along the sides when they start spawning? The males have the hook-shaped mouth. Yeah, that happens in most species. Coho stay bright silver. Okay, I got them backwards again. Should it for the reds? The Chinooks are the reds, the Cohos are the silver. I, cause I don't, I don't know. I just, I just screw them up all the time. <laughs> Chris said he doesn't like the texture of peanuts, but he loves beer nuts. Now that's just weird. And I also hate pecans. I like pecan pie. I can tolerate it, but <clears throat> I, I can also live without it. I love beer nuts too. In fact, I had a hankering for beer nuts. Uh, about a year ago and couldn't find any so I ordered them online you <laughs> <clears throat> rest assured if I find this file hole this cup will come out I keep finding right. the brad holes but not the, the pilot hole go ahead yeah that ain't good Mark said, there's a difference in the shape of their tails too, right? But I've already rattled on too much. Yeah, you and me both. 
Maxine says, okay, guys, I'm heading off for the night. If I can't sleep, I'll be back. Bye, guys. Had a good time. Night, Maxine. Good, Welcome. Good to meet you, Maxine. Well, come on, come on back time. anytime. Come on back, set a spell. All right. We're going to talk like this. We're going to get you country fried right there. Something like that. Steve Nealon, stop rolling your eyes at me. Hmm. I thought it was at me. <laughs> I just had this gut feeling that he's rolling his eyes at my accent. We've already done the Matt Dillon, sir. Uh, that was, what, a while back? And then they forced me to stay. They being Robin, mainly. Steve said hashtag. Uh-huh. <clears throat> My, I spent enough time in the classroom all over the country that I was try. I tried to be careful how I would speak. And so my Texas accent is not quite as thick as many people I know. Yeah, I especially, I, I especially take mine so often. I don't know how much of my I don't even know if I have an accent. You do. I do. <clears throat> well, cool. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a. I was em, eminently qualified for this one position and. It got advertised three times, and I was bypassed three times. And so finally, so finally, one day I went in and asked the guy. I knew him, the supervisor, and I said, "You know, I'm qualified for this position. Why am I not getting it?" And he said, "I need somebody who can confidently talk to now." This is after I spent a stint at, with the National Guard Bureau in Tennessee and was. Uh, I had worked alongside and with colonels and generals without any difficulty. He said, I need somebody that can uh, correspond intelligently with referring to my Texas accent, what little of it I had. I need somebody that can correspond intelligently with colonels and generals. That's a hell of a stereotype. Yeah. That, that was unprofessional as hell for him to say that. You reckon? Yeah. Now, I'll, uh, I will <coughs> say, this is not an actual, <coughs> this is not an intentional dig on New Yorkers, but New York type accents, <coughs> I, I, I lean towards that stereotypical view of that accent. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't mean to, but yeah. So anyway, six months later, I got the job. Yeah. Well, how did you respond when he told you that? <clears throat> I said, I spent the last three years working for the National Guard Bureau, speaking with colonels and generals on a regular basis, and I never had a problem with any of them. So, uh, how can you explain that? I can get having your preferences, but to not hire somebody because of it? Yep. That, that's pretty sad. But because I have a little bit of a Texas accent, I don't sound intelligent enough? What? <clears throat> I used to tell, cause, because I did teach all over the country, I'd tell my guard students when I'd go out, on the road to teach her when they would come to my classroom. I'm everybody's worst nightmare. A redneck with an education. I had no idea that I had an accent. I really didn't. Of course, I hear myself <clears throat> all the time. Can't 
Can you do an imitation of my accent to give me an idea what I sound like? Can you do an imitation of my accent so you can try to sound that so I can hear what I sound like? I sound like that. You sound like that. Wow. <clears throat> uh, well, I Mark be. said I did my first. <laughs> Mark said I did my first members only live stream tonight. Had a good turnout and it was a lot of fun. Cool, Mark. I think she is. I think she is monetized, Mark. No, it was a Marshall Dillon. Um, Robin said, I need members, lol. He's Mark said, You got to be careful about making assumptions about people like that. Yes, you do. Agreed, agreed, 100%. <clears throat> she is uh, monetized. Mark, and she did qualify, and she set it up. She just doesn't have any yet. I uh, I was referring to the stereotypical thick, like, you want I should talk like this. You know, that kind of <clears throat> stuff. That's what I was going off of. You know, it, it was lighthearted. Yeah. Well, I was, first time I went up to teach at Long Island, and this is when I started listening to how I would enunciate things and how I would say things. So I started trying to, to watch how I spoke and to enunciate a little more clearly and i went up there and and they they would they looked at me kind of funny a couple of times and said <laughs> we can barely understand anything you're saying and so the next morning i came in and i said okay let's get a cup of coffee and we'll talk <laughs> and they said now we understand you <laughs> you remember uh, the, the Departed hearing Matt Matt Damon and that other dude, or Leonardo DiCaprio, both of them talking in that accent. That was mm. rough to hear. I mean, it. I get why, but yeah, it just sounded strange. Mark said, "Okay, then get with it on promoting it." I didn't know you had it, so I'll bet most folks don't either. Well, mention you spent it in an your hour videos trying to figure and, out the levels. Yeah, I mention it in your videos and live streams. <clears throat> and and as I as I have retired, I've probably picked up picked back up some of my Texas accent, but a lot of that I do on purpose, so I don't really care. I fake mine so often I don't hear my normal one. Okay, Dennis, have a good night. Thanks for being here, Dennis. normal cut, two brad nail cuts. And on that normal cut, I'll be adding my second tour. That's a long normal cut. Yeah. Not quite as long as that Dylan one was. Uh, no, that was the longest scroll cut in history. Yes, sir. It was. And, and, and on one of my designs, <clears throat> go figure. I know you. You kept cutting and kept cutting and kept cutting. And I'm thinking, my God, is Charles gonna finish this guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Words are hard, especially for me. <laughs> Mark said, "Well, that was strike three. <clears throat> uh, Mark said, "My mother <laughs> lost her Texas accent. My grandparents never lost hers." Theirs, I think he meant. Theirs, theirs, he says. Hey, <laughs> talks right. Uh, I was too, but my, he meant my, my, I did too. My grandparents never lost theirs.
I'm one of these people I cannot hear an accent or, or dialect or whatever and not try to imitate it. It's not to make fun of people. It's just, it's, it's, an, it's almost a reflex. <laughs> yeah. My youngest son and my young, I mean, my oldest son and my youngest daughter irritate me to no end because they can do any accent they ever hear. I can't and do Irish or Russian. <clears throat> I, I can't hardly do any of them. Every now and then I can almost pull off Scottish, but that's about it. Scottish is hard for me. Irish is hard. Uh, well, then again, I mean, <clears throat> the British people say I have a kind of a posh British accent. Australian people make fun of me, so I may not be as good as I think I am, but it's entertaining for me. I used to could do the fringe, but not so much anymore. I think one of the ugliest languages, and I'm not necessarily referring to the... Uh, the uh, accent of trying to talk English, but to me, the German language is such a, an ugly language, and I, that's not meant to be offensive. I just. It, well, and uh, much of it is actually quite close to English. Yeah, and uh, Russian's also a little hard to listen to. It's like, I was like, my Sorry. Terrible impression. <laughs> I don't know if you're Hello, right. Josh. Hello, Josh. That time you got here, we was waiting on you. Yeah, see, I couldn't do that at all. And I had a roommate that was Australian, and I couldn't imitate his accent for nothing. I went through like three accents on that one sentence, so I don't know if it was You did. Or not. Either way, I do. Wait, I, I messed it up. Robin said, Steve, you've been saying that a lot lately, LOL. Saying what a lot? Words are hard. Oh, yeah. I Josh said it all just, the time. Just got home from the American Legion meeting. Yes, you're not dreaming, Josh. That is Billy on the panel. Uh, Mark said fat fingers, P H A T and P H I N G E R S. And space bar dyslexia doesn't help, Steve. I've been known to be a little dyslexic myself. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let it get quiet, Billy, with the hat. I'm just kidding. I'm terribly sorry. That's all right. Yep. He's got this cut left, Josh, and Brad. two Brad cuts, and that be it. And Second I don't think we're going to be great. able to talk him into going on after that. <laughs> I don't have anything else <laughs> drilled up and ready. <laughs> yeah. Mark said, I know a guy in Nevada who had... Oh, that's funny. Who had LSDEXIC for his license plate? Miss <laughs> Dexic. Uh, 
Robin said, Billy, I saw a big slide on Facebook. Where did you get that? Oh, that was a bouncy water slide that we rented for the family reunion. Robin said, there's always Tom Cruise, LOL. I only want to do things I think might eventually sell if I get good at it. And I don't know that that would. Yeah, she, she, she joneses over Tom Cruise. Yeah, I hadn't noticed that at all. <laughs> <clears throat> no, Josh, you should not. What? He said, should I start talking food? Yeah, you can. I mean, I'm, I'm almost done. They tried it earlier, and I got through it. Mark said Linda had O-L-B-R-O-A-D on her Jeep. Old broad. That's funny. I want to do scroll on, but it ain't worth the extra money. I don't even know if you can get that many letters on there. <clears throat> You'd have to do one L. Dang it. Robin, Robin said, I deserve Tom Cruise after this, LOL. You deserve Tom Cruise after this? I'm the one that went over uh, overtime here. Uh, yeah, but she did go and fetch a bunch of folks. That's true. Uh, JB said, Charles, no one is buying a barrel rider. Who said that? JB. That was one of my most popular videos. Just saying, it's hit 600 views. For they me, that's a lot. And then he said, let alone two. Oh my goodness, JB. Mark said, Tom Cruise, he's like five feet tall. I don't know what I'd, made I'd, that video I'd so ha popular. I'd have, to, I'd have to pick him up to say hello to him, and I'm only 5'7". <laughs> When I started that barrel racing project, uh, for some reason, that video has gotten 600 views. I don't know how the heck that happened. I usually am lucky to top out around 100. I like that barrel pony, or can that you, barrel rider. Can you, can you tell Jerry that? It's mean. Uh, <clears throat> Robin says, no, I mean Charles made a pattern of him. And Mark said, oh, okay, that's different. I think he likes to I think he likes to have it publicized that he's 5'3 or 5'4, but I don't think he really is. I think he's like 5'2. Well, Jerry, in my defense, I don't sell much of anything, but it's there if people want it. <laughs> Just saying. I never thought somebody would buy my Star Wars, but I knew a fella that wanted it. And his name is Jerry Brown. Just saying. That was a good comeback. Thank you, Robert. Hey. Yeah, but people like might be a fan of the movie, but they're not going to go out and buy a wooden Tom Cruise portrait. You never uh, know. People bought the hell out of Pet Rocks. I thought, uh, Jerry, sincerely, I thought I already had it cut when you wanted it. So I, I sit corrected. <clears throat> Mark says, what surprised me was that Agnes Young from ACDC is 5'2", and Brian Johnson's 5'4". Yep, they're not very big either. Josh said, Barrel Racer got the views because Steve C's girlfriends kept coming in for views. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jerry. Uh, again, I said correct. It's been a while. But uh, and I get a movie can be popular, but a portrait of Tom Cruise. I don't think would would sell. I mean, it, it may be a fad here and there, but unless somebody's obsessed with Tom Cruise, I don't think anybody's going to buy it. Hell, I can't even get Robin to buy a pattern. <laughs> Just saying. She's Poe. I was Poe, too. I mean, 
top gun issues right now, but that doesn't mean that it's going to fly off the shelf, so to speak. <laughs> Robin said, I wouldn't know anyone obsessed about anything or anyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I keep flying innocent there. <clears throat> I've heard geese break wind louder than that. <laughs> That's kind of troubling there, Billy. And then Robin says, whistle, sing, quotation mark. Show me another live stream that will give you an impression of a goose tape. <clears throat> and this, ladies and gentlemen, is the second longest scroll cut in history. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, no, the sky of that elephant project was pretty big. Well, the shape, but yeah. It didn't take you as long to scroll that, though, as it did that one on Dylan tonight. Well, that, a lot of it is straight line, so it's going slow. And Josh said Robin's obsessed with hot glue and Tom Cruise. <laughs> that sounds twisted, but it's very interesting. Really. I knew it. I knew it. I felt it coming. Twink. I felt it coming too. I'm kind of pushing it a little bit. And see, Billy, I'm not going to finish this if, if if you keep breaking my blade. See that blade stick around, and we can get it cut. I'm trying to get you to understand that now. <clears throat> and Robin said, "Yeah, Tom Cruise is hot glue." <laughs> Josh said, thanks, I was thirsty. Uh, see, normal people take a drink when they're thirsty. <clears throat> Not three seconds before that blade snapped, I thought to myself, this blade is fixing to go. I suspected it because it's a long cut. And it's double, double stacked, and uh, and the closer I get to done, the more I push the blade. Mm -hmm. I have Johnny Depp patterns too, and I don't think that was well. <clears throat> anybody was in court, but yeah, <laughs> Robin thinks he's crazy. <laughs> Robin said he's Robin said he's too, but he's too skinny. Because no, Denise thinks Johnny time. Depp. Oh, Go ahead. Wait, 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 but he's too skinny. Who's too skinny? Tom Cruise is too skinny. I think Johnny Depp is hot. She, Robin's got to be talking about Tom Cruise. Thank you for being here, uh, Mark. Denise likes Johnny Depp. Mark said, okay, got a jet night, Mark. Linda's home from band rehearsal and wants to talk about it. Catch y'all later. Uh, uh, Johnny Depp does not have a British accent. He just did that weird accent for uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, but it wasn't me. This it wasn't me thinking Johnny Depp is hot. By the way, I was. Uh, yeah. No, I know you and, know. Right. Uh, and Robin said, "I think he's greasy looking." And why does he have a British accent? That's the one I was responding to. Probably because he thinks it sounds better. I don't know. <laughs> he's he's kind of an odd duck. Yeah. But he's actually a pretty good artist, and he ain't a bad musician. Yeah, say what you will about Amber Heard, but both of them were toxic as all get out. I know I've said that before. That, that hasn't been the hellacious marriage to even be around. <clears throat> Robin said he did a press conference the other day and he had a British accent. I know, and it's funny because when he was first on, oh, what was that young cop show? Oh, oh 21, 21 Jump Street. Yeah. yeah. 
when he was first on 21 Jump Street, uh, he, he didn't have a British accent because he ain't from Britain. I've only heard him with a British accent then on uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, well, he might have. He's he's done it in a couple of movies though. That's weird. <clears throat> uh, I believe he used the British accent in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, I didn't watch that. I won't watch retarded ones like that or Edward Scissorhands. And oh yeah, it was Willy Wonka. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory was the name of the book. Uh, no, it wasn't that. Um, wait, Willy Willy Wonka was Gene Wilder. Well, I think uh, Johnny Depp also did. Say Willy he Wonka. played Willy Wonka, but I thought yeah. I think the movie was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. No, I it was know. Charlie and the Chocolate. It was it was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I had to look it up. I I, I, I was questioning myself. Never oh, do that. Never do that again. Till the next time. <clears throat> Denise said, Robin, he doesn't. I watched the interviews. Uh, I liked him in Sweeney Todd. I think he used a, an accent there, too. He was in the movie Blow. He didn't have an accent there. <clears throat> uh... What was that sleeper he did with Angelina Jolie, the tourist? No clue. The only I don't very remember few movie in that stars, one. there's very few movie stars that I'm making a point to try to see a movie they're in, and that is Tommy Lee Jones, Denzel Washington come to mind. When what? When 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 they're in a movie, Tommy yep. Lee Jones, Denzel Washington. What about him? Freeman. Those are the two actors when I hear the name in a movie I will try to watch it oh yeah <clears throat> problem done with this cat no they unless you break my blade again JB said look at all the British actors and actresses that do English accents yeah, like the guy in the house, Hugh Laurie, or something like that. The kid that does Spider Man has a real accent. The girl from Stranger Things also true, yeah. and they don't speak, and they don't in the movies they don't use it. And they're very convincing. That, that's yeah. that's voice coach stuff, I guess. Well, same with Tom Huddleston. He's British, and he he played uh, Hank Williams for crying out loud, Lordy. and didn't. I haven't seen the movie yet, but I've seen bits and pieces, and there's no hint of an English accent there. Don't a lot of British people make fun of Dick Van Dyke on Mary Poppins? I've never watched Mary Poppins, but I heard. I <clears> yes, because yeah, because Dick's English accent was not very good. He tried. You got to get him E for effort. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, more Josh said, Robin, he used Herb's voice changer. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, Nicole Kidman's is Australian, though. She's from Australia. Who's she referring to in uh, Walking I'm, Dead? I'm, uh, yeah, but like his, Robin Norman she Richard. likes his accent in Walking Dead better than... And he's hot, too. She's, I don't know, the, the actor in Walking Dead... Uh, JB mentioned him, Rick, the guy that played Rick. Oh, that was uh, uh, Dag Nabbit, Rick Grimes. <clears throat> Especially the same. No. Is his real name Rick Grimes or is that his character name? <laughs> That's his character name. I, I haven't watched Walking Dead, so I can't tell you. Something Lincoln, Andrew Lincoln? <clears throat> Most people like Daryl uh, Norman Reedus. Uh... Robin says, especially that scene when he gets out of the shower. Robin. Oh God. Go to your room, Lord. Robin. <clears throat> Larry, Larry said, I watched Nicole Kidman in the movie in the movie in the movie in the movie in the eighties BMX. <clears throat> Uh, 
Good thing we're almost done because Billy is losing his ability to speak. <sighs> then he said, yes, he tried. He did. I've never watched Mary Poppins, and I'm okay with that. I haven't seen it since I was a kid. But somehow most of those songs are still stuck in my head. <laughs> of course. Tim Tim and Tim 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 What's his face? Uh, in uh, what's the Hugh Jackman, Wolverine dude? Doesn't he yeah. have an accent? He is Australian, yes. Hugh yeah. Jackman is Australian. I believe he was even in a movie called Australia. But in as Wolverine, he doesn't have an Australian yeah. accent. <clears throat> Steve said and Dick Van Dyke is still singing those songs at a hundred at a thousand years old. Yeah, I saw a picture he, of him the other day. He's not getting any younger. He's not. I saw a video of him and his sons. I don't know how old it was, but he it looks it, like a corpse. But it wasn't that long ago. And he and his sons <laughs> sang one of the I think it was the chimney sweep song from Mary Poppins. I'm laughing. And they were and they and they, they 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 were sitting in a restaurant. Uh, Josh says I have to suffer through Mary Poppins two, three times a week. I'm sorry, Josh. The joy of children. Now I will never I'm one of those people that won't make fun of Barney because it reminds me of my little daughter sitting in my lap watching Barney. <clears throat> uh Mary said, So is the guy who played Longmire, he's an Aussie. Really? The guy that played in Longmire. I don't know which I one he's talking about. I, I haven't like seen Longmire. So. Probably, I, I, that was a good show. Uh, it ran its course. You know, it had a finale and all that. He, he's very convincing as a, a normal speaker. You know, American English speaker. That's not a, a song I thought would get stuck in my head. <laughs> But you never know what's going to happen on this you, here show. You, you've done it to yourself. I, I tend to do that. I hear that a lot, too. <laughs> <clears throat> Larry said the sheriff. Yeah, that's the lead character. Well, a, a lot of people have made fun of Kevin Costner for playing Robin Hood. I didn't see that one, but I like Kevin Costner. I like the movie. I'm not checking out. I'm hitting a Brad nail, really? Come on. Oops. Now i got to be real careful because I only got one Brad in there. <clears throat> and then Robin Hood Men in Tights came out. <clears throat> and Gary Elvis played Robin Hood and made a reference to having and to having a real English accent. I thought that was pretty funny. This might be the first live stream I've ever <clears throat> finished two projects in, but... Josh is singing a uh, Hank oh. Williams song. Oh, no. It's not, it's not Hank Williams. Johnny Cash. I hear a twang a coming. <laughs> oh, Billy, good time to sign off. <laughs> That's funny right there, I tell you what. <laughs> that was good, though. <laughs> That's why well, Billy wanted on the panel. That's what it was. <laughs> I hear a twang a coming. Now I'm never going to hear the twang or that song again without thinking of it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, you asked for it, so you better praise the crap out of me, Robin. I'm kidding. Uh, th thank you. That looks pretty thank good. You. Thank you much. It's it's a relatively simple design. 
if you single stack it, it won't take as long as it did. But we've done two projects tonight, and I'm just plum tickled. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, Jerry. And I'm uh, just tum plickled. <laughs> good time to sign out <laughs> for my brain cramps. And uh, yeah, so uh, you're welcome, Robin. And uh, no matter how much y'all beg me, unless you pay me a million dollars, I ain't going to do another one because I'm tired and I'm hungry. All right. Thank you, uh, Larry. <laughs> Catch you next time, Josh. Bye, God. Thanks, Billy, for being a sidekick. Yeah, sorry. I, of course, I said at the beginning, but thank you for being here, Billy. I pre That was a, a nice treat. I hope you'll come back. Should I hold my breath? Uh, <laughs> I don't know that I would. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you never, but you never know about me. No, I, I, I very sincerely appreciate you uh, dropping in. That, that was a, that was a Not treat. No problem. Thank you, Denise. I and uh, it. thank you. All right, good deal. Appreciate everybody <clears throat> taking the time to be here. By God, subscribe, follow all that stuff. And Billy, say them magic words. Scream.